Hello, it's me, and this time you not hear me normally as usual on stream, but this is actually recorded off stream for one specific reason, and you will also notice it later. The first part, uh, for the first part of this beauty, sadly, there has not been like any recording of my voice. I only noticed it a bit later, um, like about 30 minutes in, sadly. But yeah, for the first part of the VOD, you will not be hearing my voice. Why did it happen? I did have some update for some of my audio software. It killed some of my audio settings and it killed my input source for my microphone. It still appeared um, in my OBS, which I thought uh, everything was fine, but I didn't check the audio levels. And well, the device wasn't set for the for the source. That's why no recording for the start. Before I will give you a timestamp later on in this video, I just want to give you a small summary for the part where my voice is missing. And that in specific is us moving to the village of the Moblins, or also called Earthenshire. Along the way we did pick up a few evil currents, explored a bit of the area, and I think get, got most of the evil currents, if not all of the evil currents on the map to this point. Since that was mostly exploring and nothing story related, I'm gonna immediately skip ahead towards Earthenshire. Once we arrived there, um, Alphena also makes like a small remark that there might be some history with Eidelshire because of the similarities in names for the towns, which doesn't really go anywhere, at least not for now, but I just think I might mention it here. Other than that, um, yeah, the feed for that area gets postponed because of the storm that happened. Some of like um, the moblins have been injured and yeah in this village of moblins there's like this weird thing where they have contracted goldsmiths and artisans there working in the houses while the moblins serve as kind, some kind of servants for them tending to their every need. One weird thing about that is that they don't talk to the artisans but merely watch them and try to figure out what they may need which is kind of weird but I'm not gonna really question it. Other than that, yeah, um, due to the feed being postponed we are being asked to help out a bit or like Google Mart offers to help. Uh, so we are gonna helping out one of the so-called help hands which tend to the artisans. In particular we are tending to one of the artisans, check out what his problems are, mainly if his room is too hard, he's not touching his meals. Mikorta is do seem to have like a bit of a thing where they don't like hot meals. And yeah, we talk to the chef. Muglamat gives them some recommendations what to cook for a Mikode. We pick up a wind crystal to be used as some kind of fan and actually task the help hand with getting new artisan tools so he gets new tools. The artisan ends up being happy. And one thing before we were, uh, go find the wind crystal, we have a short run in with Koana, Fangrid, and Murionji. They also can't do the feed due to the storm. So they, since the moblins think Koana is not suited to help in the village with the help hands, they just sent him off to tend to the wounded, which is fine. Um, once we are done with like finding all this stuff, Koana also uh, chimes in and tries to pick up pick us up and notify us about the uh, feed starting uh, since stuff seems to have uh, seems to have been working out rather quite quickly just a short speed in the action while that's happening the artisan made a quick craft to show our uh, to show us thanks to us Kwana sees it 
and makes also a, a meek uh, remark of getting a glimpse of understanding why the Moblins rejected his earlier idea of just requesting Charlie and Artisans to do their stuff for them and not do this weird contract thing with artisans who live like the individual context. Here's things like, yeah, like a well oiled machine, like the um, artisans guild or whatever it was, oh, and Shardian should work better than just one individual artisan, stuff like that. If you wanna still wanna go ahead and watch along, the audio of the game is still fine. You can read along with the text that happens. There will just be a stretch where I will not be talking over the exploration of the area. If not, here's the timestamp. If you wanna skip to head to the part we are actually, my voice can be heard again. And I do hope um, you're not taking this small issue too early. I'm sorry that has happened. Technical difficulties like like this sometimes do happen, and yeah, I might just try to be careful that this won't happen in the future. Other than that, I hope you still have fun watching the rest of the VOD. It's still like over six hours long, so go ahead and enjoy. Leave some feedback, and also support is always appreciated. And well. Enjoy.
Well, yeah, okay, I actually was promoted. God. <laughs> This is what I, this is what happens when yeah th th this is what happens when an update kills your audio settings. <laughs> well, that happened. I actually checked if all my audio settings were set again, but yeah, sometimes you miss like one setting. One iron cannot create great things if one likes creative impetus. To Liola, fortunately, does not one for inspiration. Anyone wishing to learn the basics for a craft would do well to study there. I was based among Hatsao more traditional than most, and a shared ingenuity of two worlds, various peoples were eye opening. <laughs> With the situation in Hatsao, I have a few fond memories of nomadic life. Rocco is very grateful to you. I thank you both for your hard work and clever guessing. When it comes to help handing, knowing the pot zones really is important. Well, that's true for pretty much everyone you meet. It's a lesson I've had thrown into me several times already on this journey. Thank you! <laughs> Thanks for pointing out that I was muted, actually. Okay, and we got some new armor out of this. Mm. Okay. Mm, I would say I prefer the style of the previous one, but hey. I also got earrings for you, actually. Nice. Mm -hmm. I have a space, it should be better. Yeah. At least since they are slightly with material, they are better. Derek just bits the Clemens assembly in the large building on the west side of the village. I will head over there after finding Frankrit and Uri on Jane. Ah, I also ran into, Levi into the Levi twins on the way here. I took the liberty of directing them to the venue. Ah, Guana is actually quite nice when it comes to that. Revivals, it's not a job to make sure I know the feed is starting, but even now he is conscious to a fault. Anyway, let's not keep Ready Rock waiting. Mm -hmm. Actually, the side quest popped up here, but no evil current side quest, I guess. Ready Rock thanks you for assisting Help and Ragorok. She will announce the feed once the other Clements arrive, so please be patient a little while longer. Maybe to report, we were able to convince one of the pots ruins to say, How did it fare? So, 
So you managed to do the thing? Splendid. Is that the noises they make? Oh no, it's the... Momoja. Welcome to Evanshire. First promise, we support our plans for Sword Crossing and the new pots one they will bring. Hey the mighty Zoroja. You cleared many pirates of rock for as if were as if they were pebble stones, the Vizirians and of Dawn's for Dawn Zone. Zoroja was clearing the fallen rocks. I'm surprised you would want to hear this time for anything unrelated to the contest. I mean, he's still um, the master of. Uh, what would I call it again? Uh, yeah, you, of the local militia, you could say. I forgot, forgot what they were named. Well, well, we meet again. Annoying Bagu Jaja, of course. Just in time for the feat to begin. I bet he was already here, laying low while the rest of us did all the work. <laughs> Most likely, yeah. That would be typical for Bagu Jaja. Claimants, your attention, please. As many workers explained, many of our pots won't left us following the storm. The precious metal work crafted by those artisans bring in much jingly shine from across the sword. Should our stream of trade goods store up, Irvenshire will suffer. To the order's merchants will suffer. So Ready Rock sets you this feat. Each of you are to find one clever hand goldsmith to bring back here to us. So we're to recruit new pots ones. Makes sense for the fees of pots. Colin is a fee, it does not justify taking advantage of the claimants and their influence. How does finding workers for you demonstrate their worthiness for the throne? You're free to refuse Ready Rock's request. She will be happy to inform the dancer and of Zorosha's disqualification. The right is a means to the end. The steps we take to get there are not important. Then Riddle declares the feat of pots begun, but remember, a pot pack must be agreed to willingly. No crabs matching or deceitful tongue flaps. <laughs> or kidnapping and adopting people, please. Looking at you, Buckle Jaja. The lecture said nothing of taking a willing artisan from a rival. Which is exactly what we should do. <laughs> I find a dish, brother. Don't get your things, so, brother. Come, let us lay our plans. The nasty brood is up to something. Aye. He may seek to the layers again, as he did on the river. We can but remain vigilant while we plot our course. What do you think, Buglamat? Have you any candidates in mind to satisfy the suite? I know some artisans among us, my supporters, but they are all in the twilight years. We could take them to give up the comforts for Tuliola to live in this remote village, no matter how beautiful the scenery. Meanwhile, Connor probably has a hundred young craftspeople to choose from. Not that I'm comparing us, you understand? That's just a statement of fact. Um, I suppose I could try asking around Vashimakimaki. Seems like a logical place to start. Back to Toriola, it is. Wait, does that mean we have to take the boat again? We can just use the Eva right? No, 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 I can't do that. I can't stomach another boat, right? You said I should share my burden, so I have to speak plainly. The truth is... I get really, really sick on boats. That's nothing new to us. 
Programa, this is hardly news. But it was painful for you to admit. In any case, we won't be fighting the currents this time. Heading down river will be much smoother. It will? Are you sure? <laughs> I'm positive. Mostly. Aww. Poor Fukurama. Hmm. Oh, we actually just get teleported here. Nice. Uh, I need a moment. Abrabo down rubber. Ihu Iu Katamu uh, is too rough for me. <laughs> you know, she's a bit more barren now that I've stopped trying to hide it, but it's the river not set foot on the board if I can help it. Alright, I think I'm ready, Didi. Let's see if Master Robby can help us recruit the pot swan. Okay. Finding post ones it is. Thank you for the follow, am I up? Very appreciated. Greetings, Red Bromus. What brings you back to Russian Mackie Mackie? You've not chipped your eggs again, have you? No, Master Robbly. Actually, I have a favor to ask. So, what do you think? Do you know any craftsmen who might be interested? Fetching my artisans for the moblins, eh? We're seeing as it's the full promise making the request, I'm willing to look the other way if one of them decides to take you up on the offer. Only, I can think of a suitable candidate off the top of my head. We don't know if a mastery of ghostwithing that would also have no qualms about relocating to Earthenshire. Uh, what about if I have just start working here? You mean Fonchantin? You did say he was on blade at some fancy jewelry store across the salt. And considering the distance he's already come, I'd like to think he wouldn't mind moving a little up the river. That said, he only just got himself into his job, so... Is it too soon to ask him to sign the pot pact? There's no one making the offer. Once he hears how we how well the pots ones are treated, he may even jump at a chance. Either way, you won't find Fontaine at his workbench at this hour. He's finishing for the day, probably enjoying a meal over at Jibalja Jibalya tea. I still don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe we should go and talk to him. Just you and me. Since he knows us. Wouldn't want him to feel intimidated by having to deal with a crowd of new faces. The two of us can handle this. Please take a rest at the cabins if you would like. Alright, let's go and see a man about what. All right, but we, at least we can teleport there. No worrying around the city, at least. Ooh, it's something that actually very good. <laughs> I should trick my retainers. <laughs> retainers can't go above. Interesting. Mm, 
I will restock stuff I will sell on the market later. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there he is. Hello! Oh, tell me, are you here too? The fraud promised that she wanted to chat. I've just finished eating, so shall we find a quiet spot outside? The last time we talked on this beach, we were in a miserable state. It wasn't even that long ago. <laughs> yes, I was, wasn't I? Lost soul until the two of you came along and helped me rediscover my purpose. A new place of employment has been most welcoming, and for the first time in a long time, I feel content with my lot in life. That's wonderful. So, what is it you wish to discuss? Well, it's hard to ask this right after you've settled in, but I'm looking for someone to become a pot swan. I have heard uh, my new colleagues mention the term. That's when an artisan signed a contract to work for the Moblins, isn't it? But you're not a Moblin. I'm not sure I understand. It's for a feat in the right of succession. I need to bring a new Potsdam to Offenshire. So that is the way of it. We've barely met, and after pushing you to work at Washamaki Mackie, I'm now demanding you to throw that away inside in a pot bag instead. That's a selfish request, I know. I have something to tell you, if I promise. The other day, I completed the necessary procedures for immigration. I'm pleased to say I'm now an official subject of Tuliola. I've since endeavored to learn what I can of my new nation, beginning with the right of succession and its claimants, including you, of course. Now, you recall it was my father's example which led me to pursue godsmithing. He was at East End, and Bengalian forces laid siege to a settlement, and in the ensuing chaos, he was slain. War took him from me in an instant. The man I loved and admired, I never wished to suffer such a loss again. And so, as much as I'm indebted to you for turning my life around, it is as a fellow peace-loving to the Yolan that I want to win, that I want you to win the throne. We can help you achieve that by signing a pot pact, then I shall gladly do so. Contain, thank you. I shall return to Master Robin in form of my decision. Allow me, I'm the reason you're leaving, so I should be the one to deliver the news. Yep, that was easy. Perhaps you remember me? Book Ibru, owner of the Jebaliaf Tire. I'd like a word if you don't mind. You book the Mars ally from across the sword, right? And the hero of some renown too, if the gossip is to be relieved. If it happens, I could use some heroic help. It doesn't need to be right now, but could you come by when you have a spare moment? Much appreciated. I'll be waiting for you at my shop then. Can now access the roll crest. Speak with Rook Ebu at Shirotai and pursue new adventures as you progress through the right of succession. Ah, roll crest. That's something we definitely need to redo. So let's pick them up. Uh, we have an urgent job for a courageous soul. Tom, I was wondering when you'd be along. Not a moment too soon, either. I've got an urgent job that needs doing, and there's no one else I would entrust with it. Of course, you'll be nodding to know the details. It's a long story, so why don't you grab a seat over there and join you shortly? Uh, Alright.
Now that we are all set, allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm Brook Eru, Rabbit Rider of Chevalier of Thai. As you know, my establishment is open to anyone. People hailing from across Tural and sometimes further come here to whet their appetite and slake their thirst. Given how we turned no one away, it's inevitable that a few bad apples might mix in with the motley patriots, and they're in a less to wrap. In particularly, Rotten Bunch was here not long ago. Sitting just over there, in fact, and having a conversation most foul. I thank you all for coming here, so far from our respective homes. Is this the first time we've all gathered in one place? Perhaps some introductions are in order. I am... Um yeah, come up, um, what will you be having? <laughs> <laughs> um, could you have a moment, please? You're in the middle of something very important. Oh, then. Where was I? Ah, oh, yes. I am... Um, I guess. If you're sitting here now, it's because I have personally invited you to the passage of the Unbound, my secretive wilderness order with ambition to sow discord throughout the world. Wow. <laughs> Why don't one often call themselves such? Nor do secret orders have their meetings in places where all eyes can see. What do you know? Your snide remarks only rule my carefully constructed atmosphere. If you had time to think of a suitable slogan, you would understand that words are everything. But I, uh, but I digress. I went to you all here for one reason, to throw the world into a mire of chaos and then watch its nations crumble. What else would we call ourselves if not wilderness? This sounds all way too silly, to be honest. I this is, is to punish all who dare to mock me, uh, mock and belittle me. As long as I can achieve that, you can call me whatever you like. The rich, the powerful, the mighty, all shall be crushed under the weight of my ire. A grand design for a group of six, even if we manage to master our list to our side, there's a limit to what we can accomplish. Are you okay to say that you're right? At present, we are bound and powerless. That is why, in order to raise our fists against our oppressors, we must find the strength to shatter our shackles. And in so doing, we shall become unbound, like the birds soaring up above. We shall take the flight and spread our wicked wings, staining the azure skies black. Uh, but sometimes guys become treacherous with clouds and even birds must rest. I speak of finding strength. Is that why we are here? To look for it? It's so then I pledge my aid. With newfound might at my beckoned call, I shall win adoration known only by a hero. Eagerness is hardening, and you're correct. The tools to make our goal are... Our goal of reality lay in Torel. Across the continent can be found certain artifacts which possess untold power. You say artifacts? Who has sent an adventurous hunt for instruments of devious devilry ahead? <laughs> my imagination is overflowing with images of the new forms my trickery might take. As I say, the world is not ready. Yes, well, to get to the heart of the matter, 
Dope tracks are held by the disparate tribes which make their homes into a continent, where they have been passed down through generations as sacred treasures. Whatever stories these people have attached to their so-called treasures matters not. Each contain the essence of fierce and beasts called Tural Vidral, and with them in our possession none shall be able to stand against us. We shall take the objects for, for ourselves, bring them across the sea, and use them to undermine nations far and wide. The means by which you each choose to do so, I leave in your hands. I only ask that you not disappoint. I tell you, there are no questions. Let the passage of the Unbound open unto the world. We begin at once. That's a weird party. They didn't hear a single thing. I'm not sure you want any orders from them, but okay. There's a long shot of it. What do you think? They left without ordering anything. Villainous indeed. <laughs> uh, they like discussion, but it is even formal indeed. Of course, we had a duty to report what we heard to the Landsguard. We did, but it didn't make a damn difference, because soon we learned those unwelcome guests had teeth. Long ago, one individual from a rural tribe came here seeking help recovering a stone on relic. Then another came with the same story, then another, and another, and so on. By the time we realized that passage of the unbound was a real threat, they had one and all made their way across the sea with their ill-gotten gains. Each tribe has sent one of their own to recover what was lost, but being in strange lands, they are the disadvantage. That's why I've been looking for someone who knows every corner of yours and beyond. Now, I know you've business in Tual, or else you wouldn't be here in the first place, but if you could take the time to hear Ral Majun out, you'd be doing a service to many who could really use a helping hand. Interesting quest, okay. Greetings, allow me to thank you personally for lending you assistance in the madam. We've been quite desperate for some uh, someone suitable. Greetings, Valmajun. At the risk of becoming a daily nuisance, I must guess, have there been any developments you might wish share? A nuisance? I perished before, you've come just in time, in fact. None other but the wanted Tamu has agreed to aid to the search. Finally, a fortunate term. So long as our sacred treasures are in wicked hands, our homes shall know no peace. To say nothing of the danger they pose to other nations. If these thieves really do intend to stir up chaos across the seas, then you would had better depart on the next ship. But before you do, it might be proper to introduce you to those who have come to Toriola in search of aid. Luazeni Kwe, they come from a village far to the north. A single warrior cannot hope to withstand the power of the tribe's relic. So, she requires a stout protector, someone that can be leaned upon when times are darkest. So, I'm guessing she will be like the tank quest. 
Darum the Nyapine must recover afflicts terrible maladies upon his victims. He seeks someone who commands great healing magics to counteract this effect. That will be me. The search for tribe's treasure has been entrusted to a peerless hunter. She requires someone to act as a frontline fighter who can distract her target while her bow takes deadly aim. That's a melee roll. And lastly, there is Nsue, who knows little about her people's ancient artifacts, aside that it must not fall into the wrong hands. She seeks a mage of great power, but anything beyond that lies shrouded in mystery. Are you forgetting someone, Raroidia? Your crisis is just as pressing, even if you won't say so yourself. Well, Jar hails from further south than even Mamuk, and has traveled many days and nights in search of someone who can strike down their prey from afar. It's the only way to escape the effects of this villagers' treasures. Did I get it right? Indeed, it gets, I do get so forgetful in my old age. Thank you, Raro Majun. Five types, five storm treasures, all are waiting for the aid of a brave soul. Hopefully, that can be you, Tamamo. Of course, I will share all that I know on the matter. You only need to ask. And know that I will not hold it against you should you choose to assist only those from whom your talents are best suited. As long as you do what you can, the people of Tura and maybe even further will be in your debt. I mean, I will eventually do all of them, but this might take a while. Because I would need to uh, level up a class in each of the worlds, so yeah. If you can access to Roadsword to Diamond Quest, a separate quest line, and story is now available for tank, midi DPS, physical range DPS, magic range DPS, and healer rolls. Speak with the people of Toral Gafford in Shibalia of Tai and assist them with recovering the stolen treasures. Yep, our first step will be doing the healer quest, definitely. I also could do the mages one, but I will do that after I'm done with the story, to be honest. Because with leveling skull, I'm also leveling the summoner, which is quite nice. Well, what business do you have with me? Uh, my apologies to uh, Brook Airbus guests, were not. I am Naipine. I have journeyed far from the northern valleys of Shaktura to reach this grand city. Tell me, Tarula, what is your name? Tell me wrong. We're so short, I shall remember it. A shame that we must meet under these unfortunate circumstances. My witch's bright possession was among the treasures stolen by the passage of the Unbound. It is known as the Heartsting. And the soul of a dead scorpion, one of the two Retra, is sealed within. The creature once sounded its prey using an array of toxins produced within its body and was a menace to all. Those granted the hair heartstring gifts may wield the fearsome power as they see fit. We believe the fees have already taken it across the ocean to Eorzea and it will doubtless wreak havoc in the wrong hands. Does the sick healer to remedy any harm brought by the heartstrings toxins in the far away in that far away land? I wouldn't miss Mert, near precisely the sort of moment I seek, and we must act quickly to avoid the worst. Real lenders, your aid. Yep, that's what we're here for, so yes we will. It's a fine, but don't expect anything else. Okay. Any those needs is what I do best. Definitely. You have my credit, dude. To the matter at hand, then, while I was making inquiries here in Toliola regarding the fee's whereabouts, some of your merchants told me a rather intriguing tale. Specifically, those returning from Limsa Lominsa bring twelve tidings tales of able bodied men and women suddenly losing their vision. An auto familiar account, as the heart strings allows must be over all manner of poisons, including those that inflict temporary blindness. A great deal of training is required to properly utilize the scorpion's gifts. 
but the blinding toxin is one of the simplest to wield. It seems to me the brigands uh, are the masterminds of these strange incidents, harnessing the treasure's power for their own nefarious ends. Rosh Kana, the village's elder daughter, makes for Limsa Luminsa in pursuit of the heartstrings. I intended to set sail with her, but my foot was badly injured by a strange mechanical doll during the thief's ambush. Rosh Kana insisted I remain here to recover, and she would not take no for an answer. Must guess that you cross the sea in my set and provide Lakshana your aid. Considering our enemy we are deadly poisons, the danger is too great for her to face alone. Based on when we, she departed, I presume she's arrived at her destination by now. She bought a merchantman captain merchantman captain by a woman named Bia Bahal Breeder. Who is primarily based in Limsa She may be able to help you locate Lord Kana. God, all of these names are so hard to pronounce. <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this to me, game? Because the closest. Oh no, Alchemist. Arcanist. Why? Thank you for the raid. Thank you, Amashita Ko. Hi, I'm Vahad Bruder, and if we were planning to sell your healing services to me and my crew, don't. My shipping ain't selling safe for a short while. Yeah, looking for a trolley woman named Losh Kana? Hi, she made a crossing with us, trying to retrieve some sort of treasure, as I recall. I told her Arca Sally was her best bet for the latest treasure, so you may find her wandering thereabouts. Keep an eye out for. A huir and less in red tunic, carrying a spear in her back. She can't have gone too far. Also, what's up with the cheese tags? <laughs> just cheese tags. Okay, just cheese tags. I'm gonna uh, just take it as that. <laughs> By the way, how was the raid? Uh, the raid, the stream. Had fun? Mm, okay, there's what's going on. Ah, I'm catching up on the Dawn Trail one. <laughs> So I'm a bit further ahead of you, you could say. Oh, hello there, stranger. Can I have you? Now your pines send you to help the team, seeing as I've hit something of a dead end. Your timing couldn't be better. I suppose proper introductions are in order then. I'm Losh Kana of Sakturel. And you are? Ah, pleasure to meet you, Tamamo. With that, we are strangers no longer. I'm not sure how much Naib Heinz already told you, but I assume you want to hear more about the day of the theft. My father, Nayapine, had just set a trap using one of the Hearthstrings toxin and were on the way to return to the treasure to its resting place. But an evil person stood in the wilds at night. Mechanical dolls with great, glowing eyes leapt from the shadows and gravely wounded them both. My father survived the encounter, thankfully, but he was unable to give chase, and convalesces now in my home village. The carpet's faces eluded me in the darkness, 
but he heard two voices, a man's and a woman's. He recognized neither, so we are certain they aren't from our village. Whoever those two were, they must have been the ones controlling the dolls before making off with the heartstring. Brookyaboo said they're part of the passage of the Unbound, but I'm afraid that's all I know of the culprits. Still, that may change if I can ascertain the cause of the recent blinding incidents that have occurred here. Unfortunately, I haven't had much luck asking around. The thought of addressing even one person here is, well, overwhelming. When you're from a remote village like mine, the few I've attempted to speak with were too busy to even listen in the first place. You, on the other hand, look ready to take on the world, or at least the city. I'm sorry to ask this of you so soon after we've met, but could you help me gather the latest hearsay at the markets? I guess more listening around for information. What we like do literally like in every village and such repairs and don't trail, which it feels like. Many, many things. I will search for the quieter districts for clues in the meantime, and hopefully not get myself lost along the way. <laughs> Alright, yeah, just for people like always. Like, they really like to do this, like, investigate stuff, check out stuff, and it's always like free places you can check. <laughs> they do this a lot, really. The recent chaos in the markets, I'm told the Yellow Jackets have been thoroughly investigating the matter in cooperation with the Adventurers Guild. If you're in a hurry, there's a Yellow Jacket making her rounds by the way of the Fisherman's Guild. She'd be a good one to ask. Oh, okay. Blinding incidents? I don't know of them. Started with some bad fruit at a store in the Orcas Alley. A few bites and then folks suddenly go arriving on the ground like beach sea serpents. Claiming they can see a bloody thing. I don't blame them for raising hells with the shopkeep neither. Pulsars couldn't move an ear until the treatment came and they could see properly. The shopkeeper was rightly furious about the whole deal and took it up with the, his longtime supplier. Escalated into a real specter, is it? Turns out the same problem was occurring at other stalls and with fruit from different suppliers, so it doesn't make sense to pin the blame on an individual seller. If the whole supply chain's tainted. Even now nobody knows what's causing it. From business, I tell you. That sounds quite bad, really. So I guess they must be like using the poison to poison the fruit. At least that's what it sounds like. Why well, yes, I know about the uh, blinding incidents. I explained it first hand. I was with a package so I purchased some fruit from a local store and took a few bites on my way home. But before I knew it, my vision went dark. I stood here shaking and crying, terrified of what would happen if the darkness never faded. I thought I was alone until I heard a woman nearby howling with laughter. Fortunately, I didn't suffer for long. A passing adventure cured my sight with a sooner, and I went about the rest of my day as though nothing happened. But I haven't been able to look at it through the same way since. Hmm. Investigation at Hawkes Alley has proven successful, but you sense there is more to be found. Seek out the yellow jacket and patrol, and you may have heard it as a blinding incident. Alright, let's have a there. Oh yeah, it's definitely something like uh, the fruit is being poisoned. Twelve be good, your time I'm more armed you. At the time I woke up sooner, it's an honor to meet the Rams wanted you up close. Is all I can assist you with. I hear all sorts on my rounds, so if it's information you're after, you've come to the right person. Oh yes, the serial blindings, they're causing a terrible ruckus around here. 
You know, a woman in red came th this way a few moments ago to ask about the very same. I take it you two are acquainted? I thought so. As I told you, another incident was reported yesterday morning. The victim brought fruit from a local winter, took a few bites, then temporarily lost all vision. Same as the rest. The winter in question was last seen to the south of the Octan, so I'm headed there next to follow her trail. You are come to join me if it will help you in your investigation. Alright. Uh, are you excited to start? Okay, just up here. Alright. He's paralyzed. We forgot to do something. But I have no talent for healing magics and I don't have any spine drops for on me. I for a Pepsi Sona might do the trick. Wait, that was, was one button. I'm healed. I'm healed. Oh, thank the twelve and you a lot, of course. I couldn't work time room. On behalf of the video jackets, I owe you my thanks as well. Now I hate to ruin the moon, but I will need to report this to my superiors. Could you tell us what transpired here before we found you, sir? It was awful. Just awful, I tell you. I was walking home after another arduous day at work, minding my own business when a Lalafarian merchant suddenly called out to me. You, my good man, look exhausted, he said. Why not soothe your various birds and fill your empty belly with one of the realm's sweetest abbots? You've earned it, and I need to serve it. It was a tempting sales pitch, but I wasn't keen on to gamble on potentially cursed fruit. Sensing my apprehension, he broadly declared this merchandise safe to eat. He sounded sincere enough, even took a bite of the apple himself. No tainted fruit here, he boasted. Just normal, honest to good. Uh, Honest to good radius. I mean, this could just be one apple that wasn't poisoned, but the rest are still poisoned, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't use this as a measure of trust, really. He's only the apple at a reasonable discount and awesome him to her. Oh, he just has an antitoxin against it. This is Undertale took my first bite, and my numbness spread through my body like wildfire. I collapsed to the ground, struggling to speak a single word. The vendor in his fruit had suddenly betrayed me, yet I knew not how. As I fell, a woman's shrill laughter echoed from a few yards away, and the vendor soon followed. I never saw the woman for myself. What with the whole not being able to move business, but between her loving fits, she had made mention of a heartstring or some such. Oh, you poor dear, this woman you mentioned, you're positive she spoke the word heartstring. And surely, as the wind blows. For mercy, neither she nor the mender friend tried to steal my belongings, but they certainly stole my dignity. I hope this conniving charlatans get what's coming for them. To them. <sighs> this is a dangerous fruit we are dealing with. First blindness, now paralysis. But first thing first, I should escort this man home. If you uh, mind to pursue the properties further, then have care out there, alright? I guess it's already with the, the first part of this world rest. There's no doubt about it then. Our fees are large right here in Limsalomensa. The blinding toxins is simple enough to master, but it's unsettling how quickly they've learned to inflict paralysis as well. I just don't see what purpose this all serves. Were you able to learn anything of their motives? So they take pressure in the victim's pain, but nothing more at least. Nothing more that we know of. 
Where the true way may be, we must discover it quickly before more victims suffer at their hands. <sighs> My hunter must adapt uh, to their environment if they wish to snare their prey, but I have so much to learn about this place. Still, I've taken them this far, which is a good start. For the time being, I'd like to petition those officers in yellow for any new information they acquire on the Hearthstone's whereabouts. If no, when you come across any promising leaks, I hope I can count on your support again. Sure you can. Oh, you can already do the second one. Alright. Say that one, can you spare a moment? I try to start on a positive note then. The good news is that there's been no further incidents involving poison fruit. I should be happy about it, but it's not exactly conductive to tracking down our thieves. Despite my best attempts, my investigations at a standstill. Tower. I bring news from the Coral Tower. A lot of your men matching the description of the fruit vendor has been leaving the city with a Huron woman. It seems they were making for a airport. We've increased patrols of late, so if I had had a guess, the culprits are finding it harder to operate within the city. Seems we forced them to withdraw for the time being. Airport, you say? That's on this island, isn't it? Yes, that's right. It's possible to go on foot, but the ferry by the fisherman's mill can take you straight there. While yellow checkers must continue to keep an eye on things here, it's reassuring to know an adventure of Tamo's calibers on the case. If you plan to pursue the suspects, airport's your best bet. That said, I should go back to work. It was an honor to meet you and your friend Tamo. Safe travels for you to you both and give those crooks a good rushing for me. I like it how, like, the, you could say the police force of this place is just casually pulling the case onto our shoulders, <laughs> not even caring most, uh, about most of it. The city's protectors place so much trust in your abilities. I'm lucky to have you on my side. When I first had sailed to Eorzea, I feared I'd never see the hot string again, but we were one step closer to bringing it home. In any event, we'd best find our way to the port town before the pair of top makers defiles another fruity supply. I will go on ahead and take the ferry. Meet me in Eddie Port once you're ready. Alright. Off to Eddie Port then. And I'm gonna just take the teleport. <laughs> It's quicker. <laughs> ah, there you are, Tamba. You're a welcome sight among such unfamiliar scenery. The ferry skipper was eager to teach me all about this area on the right here, so I believe I have a general idea of what's what. Wouldn't want to lose my bearings on a hunt is important. Ask him about our merchants, but he said he hadn't seen a pair like that. The skipper did mention another merchant though, one who is well versed in the comings and goings of his fellow traders. If anyone cited our unlikely duo, it's him. Let's hope it's enough to put us on the carpet trail again. The merchant we see shall be peddling his spares by the gates to Skull Valley, so let's start there. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, can I help you? Yes, you can. A lot of her uh, and you are traveling together. I have spied him, though I had never seen him before. They certainly made an impression. They sold some potions and elixir to a pair of fresh-faced adventurers on the cheap, from what I could tell. If those missions really are a then those potions are most likely tainted with toxins. Toxins, you say? That don't bode well. 
The interest group brought him a marauders named Wilson and a controller named Sarek. Already left for the next job, said they were escorting one of the local farmers over to the swift perch. They're good lads, the two of them. They've been making lives easier for the small folk here ever since they've arrived, and I'd hate to see them something happen to them. Someone needs to warn them about us potions quite quick. Leave that to us. Swift Perch is of these of here, yes? Let's find him before the poison takes hold. At least I can fly here, so this will be quicker. So where are they? Ah, here. All right, I changed my skill a little bit. I forgot about it. Stop healing each other. Should I just cast this one on them? For any magic. Oh, thank the gods you found us when you did. These potions are as much as wounded us. One draught of Alexa was all it took to send Zarek into the most furious fit of hiccups I've ever seen. Poor bastard couldn't cast a single spell. Who are you? Calling a poor bastard? If the house rings toxin are at work here, we should be able to clean them with a sooner, just like last time. I'm sorry, did you say oh saw that? We have plenty of time to chat after Zarek stops hiccuping up a storm. I had to ask more of you, but if you could cast a sooner on my partner, I'd be much appreciated. Alright. There you go. I can speak and you have my thanks. What the hell? First, we waste our hard earned coin on poison potions, and now they are killer mammals on the loose. What's the world coming to? Who we'll goes there? Show yourself. Ah, it's those two. Oh me, oh my, our spearwedding friend is a sharp of eye. You have throw some airport. Why well, yes, and watching your scrawny contribute suffer was the highlight of our evening. I admit the person was meant to silence him, but hiccups? It was a comedy at its finest. Perhaps the Rixers reacted with the venom. Regardless, we've had our fill of fun from the results, so I shan't complain. Venom? Then you must be fearing cows from the passage of the Unbound. Oh, my sweet fairy apple, you know us. I suppose that means we are famous. I can't believe it. Oh, I'm kidding. Yes, I can. Indeed, I'm the passage of the Unbound's alchemist extraordinaire, the illustrious Ellie, Ellie Red. I'm so very, very pleased to make your acquaintance. Kokanova at our service. Ellie Red is helping hand and master of Mehmet's. Your cups is ever so familiar to me. My dear, uh, don't tell me you hail from the village in Tural, don't you? My goodness, you've come a long way. How was the voyage? And trying the sides. Enough, we've got a lot of explaining to do, starting with the reasons you took to Hearthstone. This is a part of our organization's green screen. Well, well, the apples bite back. It's true that my unbound compared to yours harbor lofty ambitions, yes, but of an interest in overthrowing nations. 
I merely crave the Myers of chaos they've promised. Aim to bring more laughter into this dreary world, one mischief and a few handy poisons at a time. Kukonova and I are having oodles of fun expanding our repertoires of toxic trees. Wow. If, really the, if this really is their only reason to do this, come on. I can't take people like this serious, to be honest. Hey, there's no credit in cure for, to the our friends, then he that can whisk our hard work away. Unless, of course, I must have tossing even she can cure. Oh, I do love a challenge. Now, I hate to leave you, my dears, but our work here is done, and we've busy schedule ahead of us. When is to mend? When is meets teeth to master? Ta ta for now. Wait, damn you. Ah, that's bench. At its stench. It smells like a corpse that shut shed itself. This aura is too much for me. Take me home to the trust, Mount Whistle. There is clear there. Alright, don't you dare give out on me, Sarek. We still got a job to do. We mustn't keep our client waiting any longer, but we are in your debt. Thank you again for everything, Miss Um. Oshkana, this year's town will take care uh, of each other out there. I <laughs> like it how the person who gave them the job didn't say anything in this. <sighs> Much as I'd like to track down the unbound, I know better than to fret further into the territories without a plan. For now, I think it's best we return to Limsa Lomansa. And already done with the next part of this quest. Alright. Mm. Okay, we can just walk there. It's not that far. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the support, the support back there. Town is now truly does work wonders. And at Adoret, I can't stop thinking about what she said. My blood boils knowing that this is all some sick game to her. But I had a toy with the heartstring for her own amusement. Honestly, even the youngest children might wish have more sense. So we did make progress, and now that the ruins have revealed themselves, it will be easier to give chase when they choose to make their next move. In any case, I keep you appraised of the latest news as soon as I hear it. We'll be back to the hunt before long. Alright. I really love it up. Sweet. Now let's be back to Toriola. So we can do continue with the main story quest. But we do this after a short lot of toilet break. <laughs> so I'm gonna be right back. And we are back. Uh, I should get back to uh, go back to robbery there, right? Yep. Washo Maki Maki. I look, do like saying Washo Maki Maki. <laughs> it's one of the weird names which sounds kind of fun to say. Must worry, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but I uh, Von Jean-Tain has agreed to sign the pot pack, yes. Oh, it's a shame to lose a carrier goldsmith. To have one of our own handpicked to serve the third promise is a great honor for us, Mickey Mickey. I appreciate your understanding. Of course, you happen to know other talented artisans. Regardless of the expertise, I will send them in my way. 
It could even be yourself if you're so inclined. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing we are, will be having like um, craft a side quest with him. I keep that in mind. For my time you was brief, I will not forget your kindness, Master Robney. I am blessed to have this workshop be my first home in the Trolley Order. Come back to us if the mob miss cut you loose. You always have a great um, job at Wash Maki Maki. I expect you will want to leave for Irvenshire as soon as possible. I will go and pack my things. What became of Fang Shantae? Were you able to find him? Read it, and he has agreed, he has agreed to become a potspawn. We will leave when he is ready, but you still have a little time. Spend it. We shall meet you or not. I have plenty of reasons to win the contest, but now I have one more. Fontaine is putting his faith in me, and I won't let him down. Sweet! Did we get some new pants out of it? We can now unlock the Luris at Washington Mickey Mickey. Uh, yeah, okay. Not gonna do this, though. <laughs> Not sure when we'll ever get around to do the uh, Dawn Tray crafting stuff, actually, but hey. Right on, as some things to take care of at the palace. Where you can pass the time however you like, I suggest you head back to the caverns. After all, even heroes need rest, and we still have a big journey ahead of us. Okay. I found her first. Okay. Let's use the even head again. Welcome back, madam. You have a dance guard message from most anxiously waiting on your return. The time of the third promises entourage. I have been all over the city looking for you. It's him? Okay. The dawn summon summons you to the palace. You have to present yourself to the uh, gate guard stationed outside. Some perch at the earliest convenience. Oh, and one more thing. You are not to mention this visit to Wuklamar. Huh. Interesting. What does the Dawn's Ruin bomb with us? Uh, yeah, yeah. Zoro instance. Okay. The Dawn's Ruin awaits you within. I was not informed for the reason of your audience in terms of attire, which was just uh, full battle regalia. Alright. Of course, we're fighting him. Just was a matter of time, to be honest.
<laughs> and they call me head of resolve for good reason. Old as I am, I have not lost a battle worthy of the name since the day I took the throne. And I've been craving a proper challenge. The Lance Wilter, Estinian, he fought well enough. But our pal was sent before a victor could be decided. Judging by the sailor's gossip, you are a warrior of renown in your homeland. Yet I wonder, with all your deeds done and victories won, are you warrior enough to stand against me? Well, duh, definitely. Even if it's just a mere healer, we're gonna beat you up. Sure. Why don't we find out? <laughs> A spirited answer. Why not indeed? <laughs> the battle rages upon me. I'll stop short of killing you, of course. But expect no other mercies. Yeah, I will be fine. Ready your arms and show me the truth of the tales. Gonna... I killed a bit of my muscle reasons I changed up my skills in my hard body last stream. Part of fight is quite alright. Just taking guard a bit.
Yeah, so far it's good, quite simple. Rose just have like a lot of defense capabilities a bit for his scholar. I don't even use my very much, to be honest. Ragged Fires is not even pushing me to use my really good healing skills. Really was not hard. I brought my full strength to bear against opponents before, but you are the first to withstand it. This really was a full strength. Wow. There wasn't really much to it in the end, then. <laughs> Even with my head of reason asleep, I never expected you to give me so much trouble. Estinian did not exaggerate. You are a force to be reckoned with. <laughs>
confession. I said I crave a challenge, and that was no lie. But I had another reason for calling you here. I had to judge for myself if you were fit to attend my beloved daughter. Of course, you are fit to attend to her. What do you expect? In some respects, she is much like me. Hot-headed and prone to rush into danger. But one with your healing touch could sustain Lamachi even as she contends with the most fearsome of foes. Will you hear my question and answer me plainly? Address me not as the ruler of Tuliola, but a concerned father. Thank you. Then tell me, given your journey together thus far, what is your impression of Lamati? Whether he be as their promise or just a companion on the road. Speak your mind. Hmm. Hmm, both it. But she's young and definitely has the potential. And she may not be ready to rule yet, but that should change with the journey. Ha! <laughs> a tactful response, but agreed. She is not ready for the throne. Not yet. Uh, I'm not sure what I could give you for advice there, to be honest. First of all, I'm still small streamer myself yet. Second of all, I've never done this longest stream yet, so... Just hang in there, I guess. <laughs> I definitely could knock with it. Hmm. Lama T thinks she understands her many peoples. Their histories their cultures, their beliefs. But she knows only what she's seen in the capital. And it's not only her who concerns me. Even this early in the contest, you must have realized. As potential rulers, all four claimants are lacking. The two of them especially are. This is why I elected to hold the right of succession. Not to choose a fitting candidate, but to cultivate one. And if no one has impressed me by the end of it, then to no one will I yield my throne. Interesting. As a parent, I pray that my children rise to the occasion. <laughs> With outsiders dragged into my game, I am also hopeful that the different perspectives you and your companions have to offer will inspire them to grow. I'm sharing that album with you. I Special Koana and you in particular have traveled many lands, know many peoples and cultures, love them and being loved in turn. You haven't just traveled many lands, you have also traveled through time. <laughs> so yeah. And the cosmos. I Lama T as you think best. Walk at our side and when needed, push her to walk ahead. What do you? I know it.
There I was, about to sit down for some of Namika's cooking, when I heard that Papa had sent for you. You were dueling behind my back, weren't you? Well... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I see there is no point in denying it. You needn't worry, daughter. I took care not to inflict lasting injuries. You and your ally may return to the contest without disadvantage. No harm done. <laughs> I swear, just as I was learning newfound respect for my father. <laughs> Let's take our leave of this battle mad oaf before he calls on the rest of my entourage. No, I think we'll leave us be for now. And he's not that much of a oaf, really. He's quite as at least as a father, he's quite sweet, to be honest. Quite caring. He certainly is not an idiot either. Watch over her, champion. Kona's recruits are no less sharp, as one might expect of Gallop's countrymen. They saw the flaws in our claimants from the outset. The other two, though, they dismiss comrades willing to point out their shortcomings, and no good can come of it. Yep, <laughs> I totally agree with him there. I mean, it's quite obvious the uh, Bagu Jaja and Zora Jaja like they will they're definitely not fighting for the throne and they actually do not intend to actually do anything about their throws Kohana may not look like it either, but at least he is uh, lending, in, uh, like, lending an ear to her and she has some Fangrid's concerns as far as it looks like. Even if it may look like he dismisses them at first. No, no. We've seen how the nuclear rat reacts to us, so yeah. If he had this way, Papa would keep dueling until the day he dies. Even now I know of only three people who didn't need to be carried away off their bows. Soldier, your lens wielding friend Destinion and yourself. We really do live up to your fears and reputation. I'm curious though, did Papa want anything else of you? Hmm. A small fiber, nothing more. Well, if that's all it was. Yeah. I mean, we actually can call it kind of small because we had worse to deal with. So, yeah. Oh no, I wanted to talk to Wook. Not to my little fox kid there. I still haven't had any. had one bite of Namika's food thanks to Papa's nonsense, so I'm going back to finish my plate before I head out. If otherwise, ask everyone to meet at uh, the forward cabins. Come and join us after we've had a moment to recover. Eh? Hmm. Let me go back there. Oh, can't jump down here. Come on. Yeah. Tell me down is just. Faster. <laughs> I do already do a lot of walking anyway.
<laughs> and there they are. So as you keep your own rating. Oh wait, that's not what I wanted. Is that it? You're all set to go. After all, they are prepared to travel in search of work, so I had few belongings to begin with. Bidding farewell to my fellow artisans took Rafa a lot of time, however. Again, I appreciate you taking this commitment from Jontaine. Shall we depart for Ravenshire then? A word before you go. Wookie Boo, what are you doing here? Uh, I spent my days correcting manners and here I am perpetrating the grave offense of delaying the first promised departure. Please uh, take your accent and my flesh into uh, to a taco meat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a Wookie Woo taco, thank you very much. Must you demands be so cursive? Besides, I told you that kind of thing doesn't bother me. Alright then, I won't let it bother me either. What's all that about? I'd come to the city to purchase supplies when I spotted your entourage getting ready to leave. You seek the city of gold, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. It's the final step of the right of succession. If you know anything about the subject, I'd love to hear it. Then allow me to be of service. As you know, legends of the Golden City have been passed down into Ral for a thousand years. Yet, when it comes to describing the place itself, the story do not always agree. Some portray it as one might expect, a glittering metropolis of golden towers. Others suggest it is more unassuming and owes the name to a fabulous treasure hidden at its heart. I'm getting here, ups. Uh. Every telling, however, has a common thread. Those who go in search of the Golden City do not return. The lesson to be learned from this third promise is that to seek the legend is to court death. I must employ you to perceive with the utmost care. This is all I wish to say. I shall pray for your swift journey. Thank you, Wookiee Woo. What are we to make of these cautionary tales? If the expedition has ended in tragedy, how then did the Dawn Sovereign find the city in return without incident? It seems the legends originate from the Yuk uh, Yokui. Speaking with them remains our strongest lead, I fear. A lead we shall follow in time, but first let us see Fonchantain safely unto the Moblin's care. Meanwhile in Kosamoka. Finding a willing artisan was even easier than expected. Many indeed are eager to curry favor with the Resilient Sun, especially if it means sharing the promise of new territories. Those who prove useful will have all the land they desire. Oh, such generous words, yet the manner in which he speaks them. If neither wealth nor territory are of value, wherefore does he seek to bring the world to heal? 
Good question. Step aside. Remind me. There was no rule against poaching craftsmen from other claimants. Was there? Do not be foolish, Bakul Jaja. <laughs> foolish would be carrying on with these tall feats when all I need to win are the keystones. And besides, it's long past time I humble this arrogant one head. The Donsara may have sired you against all odds, but there is nothing lesser about your birth. Only a two head is fit to rule. Only we are worthy. Draw your weapon. Face me in battle and learn your place. Between draws two, I do still but uh, root for Zaruja or Wabago Jacha, really. Wabago Jacha is the bigger idiot out of these two. A moment, first promise. Leave him alive if you would. I foresee a use for this nuisance. Too scared to make the first move. Then allow me. <laughs> that was quick. Thanks for your restraint. I can kill him whenever I please. So much for their plan. <laughs> This fight was decided quicker than I expected. Way too quick, to be honest. You're back here, and we've brought with us a willing posturum. This is Fontaine, Tame, a talented goldsmith who once worked at as time as Tedex and Ulda. Wonderful, impressive. You're the first to return, Fred Promise. And an artisan from across the salt, no less. We welcome you and your unique skills to Earthenshire help and we we'll show you to the work part. This is it then. I look forward to hearing your proclaimed dawn sermon. Thank you, Fang Chun Ting. I'll be sure not to disappoint you. We have uh, reached met the requirements of the field of parts. Ready Rock presents your keystone with choice miles and well wishing. Sweet! Keystone number three with that is ours. That makes three. Hmm. 
More possible on carriers. Come, come, tear ready to work your tails. Another feeder pump nursed, another keystone acquired. Oh, you're doing well. I expected nothing less of the world as team siblings. The claim is particularly uh, is most admirable, second promise. You must have you obliged the sharding knowledge you so cherish, and armed to roll with the weapons of much tech design. In your role as the new down servant's chief advisor, of course. The tools of war hold no interest for me. It's only to improve our nation through practical innovations. Von Powers will think twice about testing our tank once Toliola is known uh, for its advanced technology. Just as the Guardian Empire was deterred from invading Shardian. That may well be true, but how long will it take Toriola to progress to this advanced state? How many years? With a collective commitment to education and hard work, it should not take so very. Your way is too slow. Easier to expand our territory and swallow Charlie and Woe. Among other nations through force of arms, and you look for at a future of uprising and bloodshed. This wouldn't be the first failed empire. Then we keep fighting until the mounting costs convince them to lay down their weapons, until all have grown tired of loss. How would such an outcome bring anyone joy? What you propose is a mockery of peace. Well, I was reminded of the days long ago. In a time before to the URL, there were no pot packs for the pot spawns. It was normal to crab snatch artisans and force them to work for mobbies. Wait, they kidnapped people before? <laughs> wow. Now it sounds even weirder that they're just playing servants to them now. Until the day Gulu Jacha arrived, the families of the crab snatch bleeded with him, and so he came to Earthenshire. Mobbies are not a war make people. We feel death had come for us, but Gulu, uh, Gulu Jacha just wanted to talk. Be it is. We are to trade words, not blows. The gold work crafted in this village is superb. One can tell at the clans the quality of materials used, the mastery of techniques employed. Yet, it does not stir the heart. A goddess shaped by bound hands and broken spirit is devoid of luster. Compare that now to the works of a joyful artisan. She pulls her various soul into her creation, and it shines like the newly risen sun. Hmm. Have you not seen this to be true? And so began the custody of good living. Happy pots warm make good works, and good works make more be happy. Hmm. Gulu Jaja's words were wise. Trustmires did indeed bring fine craft a much jingly shine. Hmm. So the head of reason was behind the forging of pot packs. Yet, uh, yes, reason and clever thing changed Bobby's way of our life. Hmm. The first promise tires of your talk of all days. You would have a look to the future and the next feat.
I don't like their creepy smiles they gave the Mamoja. They always really smile so creepily. We should be getting on as well. My good judge, I never did come back, did he? Oh, you'll be seeing him again, definitely. Do you have a moment for promise? Rakarok would repay you for hand helping with Kai. He brings the tale of the Golden City. Really? I'd love to hear it. The towers, the streets, all fashioned from gold, everywhere look every splendor you can imagine. The young, the old, and everyone in between, they're lived in golden happiness. A city of eternal bliss, forever perched above the clouds. Ah, above the clouds. Interesting detail. Everything fashioned from gold, eh? And just imagine everyone living in golden happiness. Now that's the city I would like to visit. Extreme Agarok, where did you hear that particular tale? From a long time, your Kui friends, they live up in the mountains in Ukopasha. The giants again. Seems everything is pointing us their way. This feat and everything leading up to it has taught me much about the Moblin way of life. I will be sad to leave Earthenshire and your joy smiles behind. Well, it sounds like we'll be getting uh, going towards the Yakui next. Why is there only two crests? I do need a third one somewhere. Just like talking to people side quests again. At least with side quests, I'm just clicking through anyway. outside okay skip yay and yeah travel the currents yeah there should be more and more from side quest but I'm wondering when we will unlock that one I don't see any other on the map at least. Oh, okay, it's just going to the room where we were before. 
by uh, like looking for the currents. Of course he's being attacked now. I would just extend the time out. Electricity. Like village. From the size there, uh, it's more like a village, really. Here you go. You actually get a ring from that. Sure. Also, the other side, Chris, I will leave for leveling a job with it. I think what I will do with like one drop is just like doing all of the side quests in the areas level with that way and do some fades as well. <laughs> but we should go and see the giants next. Agreed. God mysteries notwithstanding, the villagers featured prominently in the saga and is not to be ignored. The Kupacha Islands should be easy enough to reach from here. If we leave Shire from the west, there's a road which leads up into the mountains. Let's find that first. Right. Oh, this is a bit of unexplored stuff over here. Yeah. Cannot find any evil currents nearby. I was on the one just unlocked the map over there. Perfect. I wonder when the last evil current side quest uh, is available for this area at all. Looks like the trail is going to get steep for me on in. I hope everyone is ready for some climbing. I promise. I'm glad I caught you. Ready Rock asked me to bring you back to the village. She says there's something she forgot to give you. Uh, something other than the keystone? Yes, an item of great importance, or so I was told. It wouldn't take long if you would please follow me. Uh, uh, this field's off. I wonder what this is all about. Well, no need for everyone to come. I'll be back in a little while. Yeah, we shouldn't let it go alone. I have a bad feeling about this. Hello. While we wait for Luke while I'm out, I'm uh, take another short title break. So, we right back. And we're back.
and get away for good. <laughs> waiting for one and waiting for the other. This is, quite this is taking quite a while. Just keep waiting for now, I suppose. We should just go after her, really. Perhaps there are complications. Well, let us wait a little longer. How long do you intend to wait? The longer you wait, the worse it gets. This is getting a little ridiculous. Did she get lost on her way back to find us? But how? There's only one road. I wouldn't underestimate Google Maps' sense of direction, or lack thereof. Fortunately, she's a link pearl. Let's see what's keeping her, shall we? And we can't reach her. She's not responding. Perhaps you should all return to Elfenshire. Well, as we do argue that we had business with her, yes? <sighs> well, I called it. It was kind of obvious that we were uh, that that uh, not just wanting to try to bring her back to Evershire. Back again so soon. You've come looking for Buklama. Did you not send someone to fetch her? Really, did not. Neither has she seen the third promise since we were last here. Then who was that man who came for her? Oh, I thought you'd left already. Where's Lamati? Is she not with you? You don't know where she is? How could you let this happen? That I should worry for their sister is understandable, yet rivet in a sign and blame the dying energies are better spent locating her. I have a search. This is not how I'd wish to f follow claimant to lose the contest, my sister least of all. In that case, the wedding of forces will allow us to cover more ground. Tamo and I should work together, at least. They better to facilitate communication between our groups. Sure, let's do that. Then the rest of us will split up, reporting in should you find anything. We are on our way as well. Right, keep in touch. Come, we should begin our search. What? You're alone with corner for now. Encrypt it. Still no quest for the evil current. If Lamenti was returning to Earthshire from the west, then she should have passed through here. Except where the rocks were, she didn't see her. In which case, it's entirely possible that Lamenti never made it back to the village at all. The only way to be certain is to ask the sentry stationed at the opposite entrance. Well, yeah, true. Do 
The third problem is, Moby has been standing at his post with diligent eye watching. He has seen no claimants pass this way. What of Tonawawata with bloody colored hair? Moby knows something of this one. He has tongue flames about a Pelu peddler in many fires who was attacked by a crazy haired bandit on the road. A bandit, you say? Thank you, you've been most helpful. My sister is clearly not here, though I wish it were otherwise. You must consider the possibility that uh, the Tonawawata messenger and the brigand discarded by the sentry are one and the same, and that Lamati is in very real danger. Come, let's hurry too many fires. I'd like to build with this peddler should he still be around. Oh, it's way over there. Okay. Is there something I could help you with? I am um, told you were the victim of a bandit attack. Could you recount exactly what happened? My goodness, I thought I'd recognize you. I will tell you everything I remember, so I can promise. It was at Count Vavexa, Vavkesa who ambushed me. You will name the name of the attacker? Yes, no is taking that hair. All my pedal friends have stories of that notorious band leader and his uh, predations. Now, Kessa and his gang will stop to any low for the sake of a few pell. And with no fresh quarry coming up the Bronx stairs, they've had to become more creative. Little wonder you went after Lamati. He will likely think to ransom her for a royal sum. I expect we will soon make his demands, but I don't intend to wait. You find this wooden first and deliver us the surf payment in person. What are you to a small deception? I resume the role of a well to do merchant to lure our Kessa out of hiding. Then when he comes to fling about, we watch the red bite the tail. Sure. Let's do it. Excellent plan, and I have just the right garments for your disguise. At especially the discounted price, of course. A brush with bandits hasn't then brought you a mercantile spirit, I see. Very well, I accept the generous deal. Suits him. Now we lay the bait. I will uh, precede you into many fires to make my presence known. You follow on behind, boasting to those along the way how you paid me a hefty purse in exchange for a rare gemstone or some such. If our Kessa is as coin hungry as to say, then a recently enriched peddler should be an irresistible mark. We let him strike and then we spring our trap. Time to play our parts. Follow uh, car on the street and try not to fall behind. Okay. Turn me to R to keep tabs on him. Dear little brother fellow, share with him how happy you imaginary deal with me was made. Once we've put on a appropriate display, we can continue to our next performance. Okay, slash happy. <laughs> we had gems home from the, the Hetzara merchant, you say? Every little property must have been made from such a sale. Since the stairs were destroyed, I've not been able to peddle goods uh, at my usual bounds. <laughs> you are far from new to this chat, Yukimura, but welcome back. <laughs> a good start, but I would make a certain of Kesa is aware of me. Let's continue.
Did my promote that looks amenable to conversation? The stage is yours, Tom. Well, this is a being happy again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're always there for the tail. The head Saro sold you a sparkle stone for your collection. That explains your shine and enjoy smiles. Moby is happy for your happiness. Moby is also jealous for the merchant and all the jingy shine you must have made. <laughs> We're just kind of bragging about it. <laughs> well, that's how fox tails usually is. Quite fluffy. And I'm doing good. How about you? That should be enough, but perhaps one last act to drive it on. Ah, uh, probably for the pedal there over there. Ooh. New nap up is always nice to have. As long as it's working good. <laughs> Do you see the cheerful pillow? Tell him the tale of your precious gemstone and then we'll be done with this part of the charade. I actually got a new laptop because like, I started at a new workplace recently. And well, I'm kind of not too happy with the laptop because it's already having issues with USB connections and everything. <laughs> kind of annoying, but I hope your new laptop is giving you a better experience. <laughs> what damn. Uh, it's an HP laptop. How nice to see a smiling face. Care to share the re reason for it? I've heard nothing but rumblings and grumblings since the storm passed through. Uh, alright. Didn't, yeah, didn't she, uh, do, I guess. Passing Red uh, had a very gem to be sold for your collection. This is a stroke of luck. And Richard, the merchant, was just as pleased to fill his pockets with a grateful coin, eh? Don't tell me you also get an uh, HP laptop from experiencing the same problem. <laughs> yeah, my dad also got an HP laptop about one or two years ago and he's also not too happy with it. I mean for now the HP laptop is working fine and it's just a bit annoying because it's also having problems with Bluetooth devices but hey. But yeah Probably once a, a, a bit more time passed, I will probably like bargain for a like new laptop at the workplace <laughs> <laughs> because it's also kind of a bit annoying. Yeah, you usually, whenever you get a new laptop or PC, usually should um, go through updating everything, and that includes BIOS. The only problem is with the HP laptop, when it wants to um, update you the USB driver, it just gets stuck during the update. So... It doesn't manage to update them. So uh, the most likely problem is that there is like is probably like a hardware issue somewhere with like the USB connector. If it's not probably able to update it or something else. So yeah. Well, I'm inspired to go and earn some pedal of my own. Who knows? Maybe over two will you will find me. Eh? Even as it found you. Mm. 
And we're already being spied on by our friend here. At least our trap works. Ah, my most valued customer. The profit from that single purchase of yours should see me through weeks of idle leisure. The drink is such a fat purse and no sales force is tempting fate, so I shall make Irvenshire my last stop and then return for a fight to Toliola. Hook, line, and sinking. You see, the red has come for a nibble. Oh. Of course we still have to talk to him again. You played your part to perfection, Tamo. A woman of many talents, just as Fangrid and Uriel and Jay described. Now let us lure our Kessa out and spring for a trip. When you had to boot. Okay, now wait. Why am I looking like a witch mummy? <laughs> nah, I do not like that head. Let's toggle that off. Thanks. <laughs> Let's execute the final stage of the plan. I will set out towards Earthenshire alone and unarmed, the better to sell the act of the defenseless merchant. Assuming Bafkel is watching, he will likely wait for some courage to edge off the road before accosting me. I'm relying on you to follow closely behind, remaining hidden until the time comes to spring the trap on our bandit king. Just remember we need him alive. <laughs> wow. Yeah, um, I'm not usually using microphones and headphones anymore anyway, so I usually always have a dedicated microphone. <laughs> I don't even care about that part, but yeah, that's kind of sad. If they're selling you an upgrade, but it's just being even better, worse downgrade instead. Pff, how am I big? I'm far from being big. My name, I mean, physically, yes, I'm tall and big, but. In other aspects, no. Oh, actually, I actually never talked to the alpaca keep here. <laughs> I can be as good past them. I'm guessing this will be like a stealth mission. Oh, but it won't be like too annoying. <laughs> Sweet. Always glad to hit with super effective attacks. And they are uh, getting caught in the trap. A hey, business has been good for uh, to you, Master Merchant. How about you share some of the profits? And by some, I mean every coin you have. Oh, that was easy. You're the gemstone collector. Oh, I see what is this. We've been tricked. Spit in your eye, man. Kill the spirit well.
Silvery woman, we have to interrogate his underlings instead. You would be so kind, Tower Moore. Pretty if they're capable to, of speech. Well, we are here, so. We can do that. <laughs> After we've roughed them, roughed them up, though. <laughs> Probably just break and even more and sending it back to you. I was hoping to talk with a boss, but I suppose you three will have to do. Wait, that's the second promise. What do you want with us? Think I'm scared of fancy titles? I'll ask your royal ears as a trophy as soon as I get free of these robes. I know your gang is banned my sister's abduction. Tell me where she is. Eat Pagashich, sword lover. You ate no answers from us. That's right, we don't serve you. Do not play games with me. Where's Wuglama? I'm fast losing patience. Talk now or die. The choice is yours. <laughs> we were hired to nap the third promise, that's all. We don't know where they took her. Hired by whom? We weren't told that either. Only Ralph Kessler knows. He's the one who took the job. Well, that seems we needed their leader after all. Once I've arranged for the Lance Guard to take custody of these criminals, I'll call him Frankrit and his tracking skills. But perhaps you could pursue a rough Kessa in the meantime. The bandit was running in an easterly direction. Should you locate him, I suggest you shadow him rather than force a confrontation. He might lead us to where Lamati is being held. Alright. After the fiend we go. And there he runs. Follow from a distance, yeah, okay, this is, um, okay. Should the curry begin displaying the picture on the picture, you will be discovered and he turns around. At these times, when he's covering the rocks and the walls, okay. Maybe you follow too closely. Okay. I mean, whenever he turns around, there's still a problem of me like having a big Jogobo behind me and a flying fairy and a fox, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm totally not obvious at all. <laughs> Uh, 
was meant to be easy. You are an adapter of deferred promise. This would, of course, this is not being easy. There's an idiot for you thinking so that it may be. How long is he running for? Yeah, damn, no, it's annoying me. Hope you go. Ah, I think I know who hired him. Finally, my money. Give it to me now. The Lenskart may be hunting us already. Calm yourself. Yet our own trouble is finding a suitable hideaway. R right. We finished. Check your price and leave me out of the rest. So that was Tilly. You were hunting for coin and I offered you gainful employment out of the kindness of my heart. Kindness? You brought a blackened tempest upon us. One look and I could tell that woman was a killer, a butcher, a sort of devil in the flesh. Was well, spare me your fearful bleeding. Go on, skimble away now before the scary mercenary comes to claim your head. Connor told me the news. You found the abductor then? What's the situation? Anything you banished were hired by this hobby Alright, new strategy. Forget Rev Kesa and stay on the Mammoth Just Tail. You don't want to endanger the fur promise, so keep your distance until we are certain they have her. I'll catch I will catch up to you as soon as I'm able. So we continue following people. God uh, Okay. So far it's not turning around, which is good, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
I'm really not suspecting anything. Uh... I know he's running. I'm guessing this is their hideout. Okay, at least this one was quick and easy. Fangrid. That Marmorja. He's the one who kidnapped Walt Lamart. So we're still unsure. If we can follow him a bit longer, confirm his connection to the abductors. <sighs> that will complicate matters. I set out now. I can trail them along the riverbank. Do it! Even if it costs you the contest. What worth is the throne if I lose my sister to win it? Very well then. I'll send word when I locate her. Till then, I suggest you save your strength. A rescue attempt could turn ugly. Hmm. Right. That who be gorgeous now. I swear I've seen him with Bakur Jaja. Knowing the way that monster works, he probably hired bandits to kidnap her so he could steal her keystones. But even alone, my sister is more than a match for a gang of untrained ruffians. She must have been ambushed or deceived. Gah! I should have been there! If those bastards have hurt her! Mm, be patient. Stress and Frank Red. Frank knows what he is doing. I do trust him, but... Forgive me. Snapping at you won't get my sister back. I'm afraid I've always been like this when it comes to Lamachi. The thought of her being in danger sends me into a panic. But isn't that how families should be? Well, he's right about it. These days, Turali Nukote live however they please. But 
the clan into which I was born kept to the nomadic traditions of our ancestors. They herded their own neck across the plains, always moving with the seasons. During one such migration, my birth parents left me behind. A child. All alone. Without a single word of explanation. A chance encounter with a kind Pelu merchant was the only reason I survived. Taking pity on me, he taught me his trade that I might fend for myself. I became a stallkeeper in Tuliyolal's market. And that is where the Don Servant found and adopted me. I had already been in the palace some time when Lamachi came to join us. Like me, she had been cast aside by her parents. I knew the pain of solitude and wanted to spare her that suffering. As this tiny child's new brother, I swore I would always be there for her. I'm kind of happy that we actually like seeing an emotional side of Koana for once. <clears throat> so, as you might now understand, I will stop at nothing to rescue her. While we await word from Thancred, I suggest we prepare ourselves to travel downriver. You have a boat, yes? I release the Ponity if not to delay pursuit. If we were unsure of their guilt before, then this surely proves it. Before we act, however, let us regroup with your comrades. Would you mind making the call? Let's do it. Understood. We'll meet you at many fires. This whole abduction thing is also to drag on longer than I expected. I may have put this kingdom at ahead of my own problems, but do not take that to mean I've given up on the contest. You understand how important she is to me, yet regardless of how close we were, I would have made the same choice. After all, if I'm incapable of saving my sister while also winning the throne, then I'm not fit to inherit our father's heavy mantle. We need to carry our forces. First, allow me to brief everyone on our present situation. As at the very least, we believe this hobby girl knows where Lamati has been taken. Bring out the shutting their broad as we speak, and I should like to join with all haste. Unfortunately, our query had the foresight to release our punuity, punuity from its harness, leaving us without a means to give pursuit. Anyway, as an expert of wildlife, we are, what are our chances of recapturing the beast? With the right mix of feet, it can be done. I should like an extra hand to help scatter it about, however. Will you come in here, Tamo? Yep. Mirrors of should work on getting the harness repaired. It appears to have been damaged when the punity was let loose. Before the pedal is here in camp, we should have little trouble purchasing replacement utils. As for any necessary metalwork, Elfenshire's artisans are but a short walk away. 
And let's see why the task and have had it. There was an unusually aggressive herd of wild ponies down the river, so our girl will have fled in the opposite direction. Come, we'll try the waters up river. It's very nice having like a person who's got knowledge about animals in a situation like this. And we're already proving to be a good companion. I mean, we already has like a few times, but hey. Assuming our amenity has come this way, she'll be hiding in the depths of the Marshal Ligaga. We need to lure her back to the shadows with the promise of food. Uh, Ponotis eat mainly aquatic grasses and plants, but the tame ones are often fed vegetable scraps. Among this, I added leftovers of the feet I've prepared. This should help the mixture stand out against the marsh natural scents. The gaga is crawling with predators, however, so I'll leave it to you to scatter feet deeper in. I'll be waiting for you near the sh uh, shallows with the rest of our Ponoti enticing feet. All right. Mm How -hmm. far is the fate progressed? Uh, it has progressed at all yet. Sure, we can take that along if we want to. It's a bots monster though doing it solo. Uh, I mean, since the crest is in the area, I can just wait and see if any person is coming up while I do this quest. Was it? I've just finished laying out the last of the bait. Step back out of sight and leave the rest to me. And here she is. There's nothing to be afraid of. You just need to help one last time. Yeah, hungry, Rachel. Come on, come with me. Yes, there's a good girl. Ha okay, these things can just float. Okay. We were fine here, I think. I give her a few more treats and lead her over to the boat. You can let Kohana know we have our opportunity back. I thought this to be aquatic animals, but they can just float in the air if they want to. 
I guess why not? Just need one more Evoker and then I could also fly around this area, but nah, still not getting one. Arrest the protein in then good. I expected nothing less from a certified cleaner. As for the harness, we were able to purchase all the parts we need. The leviathans are over in Earthshire right now. I can pass from make the repairs. I'm told I should take it shouldn't take long we're ready to embark on our rescue mission as soon as we hear from Ingrid. sweet also i need to do something real quick yeah that's a bit better yeah. ah he has the last Eva Kern for me. Vanguard must know something. I must know something by now. I found her. Understood. Thank you. And but in Rook's name, Fangard followed the Hobby Ghost border to its destination and confirmed that they are indeed holding my sister captive. Ah. Hmm. They, of course, being Wago Jodja and his minions. I swear I'll make them regret this. Now he is in Richleaf Tunnels. The moment the harness is repaired, we strap in the Punity and make our way back down Ihu Ihui Katomo. I think that was River's name, right? This is where they fought the Apollyon back when you uh, finished the dungeon. I spit on these pathetic feats. Far more satisfying to claim the baubles by force. Give it back! Volgentine poured his everything into that stone. He has no right to touch it. Oh, was that the name of your artisan? How could you allow something so precious to be stolen? You thieving cheat! You're no true claimant! <laughs> what does that make the foolish kitty who fell into my trap? If pitiful roars were all it took to claim the throne, you'd be first in line. Things on the verge of tears. 
Someone save me. <laughs> he sounds ridiculous when he says it like that. Siblings' favorite tactic. Oh, that useless Buddha was sick of it. He was supposed to keep the lackeys running in circles. Oh, you must tell me all about that. Can't find him beating up. You wouldn't want to hate our hostage. Wants not to be underestimated. Ah, they can do nothing while we have. It's too late. Good catch. Impeccable timing. <laughs> Amachi, are you all right? I, thanks to you. <sighs> These weaklings think they can defy us. We'll slaughter the lot of them! Patience, brother. The keystone is ours. There is no need to fight this day. And Zoralja has left us hurting. No! I won't stop until I cut these maggots and feed them their entrails! If we fall here, we fail our siblings for nothing. Is that what you want? <sighs> no, brother. Break off! We retreat! We! Uh -huh. Damn you, Bakul Janja! Hmm. We'll get our keystone back eventually. Give chase. We head back. How much she is safe. And that is what matters. Yep, at least it was a successful rescue. Could have been worse, really. I'm glad to see you unharmed, Lamati. Thanks again for coming to our rescue, Koana. And all of you, too. Bago Chacha must be desperate indeed to resort to such aggressive tactics. I shouldn't have been so careless, I underestimated him, and it costed me a keystone. For Chantain, I ended his life so that I could accomplish this in, uh, the Moblin's feet. He believed in me, believed in my cause, and I flat him down. So we take back what was stolen.
Yes, we do exactly that. The next time I meet a brute, I'll knock him straight on his skatey behind and take back my keystone. Speaking of vengeance, didn't Baku Jaja occur some useless Bonera sycophant when he caught sight of us? A reference to Zarisha, I would assume. He is devoted to our brother and is the only Bonera I know of participating in the Rite of Succession. Zarisha was somehow involved in this. I will never forgive him for putting our sister in danger. He will have forfeited his right to be called brother. <laughs> we deserve a overprotective brother, is he? Ahem. Baku Chacha should face punishment, of course. But so must abandons who had the uh, temerity to abduct Lamati. <laughs> A she Christopher fired us in the contingent of Landsguard to enforce the law in this region. I agree that measures need to be taken to keep travelers safe. But I wonder what pushed these people towards a life of penalty in the first place. If we dig deeper, we might find a way to improve things for everyone. Come on, Yogi Mora. There's something to think about. For now, however, the ride continues. I thank you all for your help. Should be moving on as well. Uh, feeling fit to travel to Oklahoma? Good day. So we'll just gain a good head start. It's time we got back some lost ground. <laughs> wow. Abroad. I already am sorry this happened. From now on, I won't let my guard down around suspicious strangers. It didn't. <laughs> I leave my tables alone. They didn't do anything, Yukimura. And again, I do appreciate you all coming to save me. The road back is friends. Let's be on our way to the Yokui. The respect to where the path through the mountains begins. Remember the spot where we were tricked into walking off with Wafkesa? Just going to rub my face in like that, eh? I wonder if he's raising my haggards on purpose, though. You know, trying to keep my anger directed at him instead of myself. Anyway, we can't be standing around here all day. We have a lot of lost time to make up for. And finally, you can fly around through this area. And get, like, a better view from it from an up in the skies. Look at life. This area looks even better from from when you're on the skies and she can get like a bird's eye view of it. There's a lot of other weird things I could fly with. If you wanna have a little show. Uh, how about an even bigger fox? That's clawing. I mean. This one's is coming close to that, is it not? <laughs> um, right, 
where are my mounts? And uh, Zedid has no tails from Sonic here. But how about that car that can transform into a plane? Or a big mechanical whale? That's way too big for its own good. A little dragon. And there's like a lot more I have I could like use. I couldn't even bother letting Ready Rock know what happened, so I stopped in uh, Earthenshire to say a few words before moving on. And now Erebus nowhere to be seen. Couldn't he wait a few more moments? <sighs> so much for giving him the benefits of the doubt. Come on, let's catch up. I want to give that smug cleaner a piece of my mind. I will go over the agonize over the loss of the keystone, but it seems I had nothing to be concerned about. I wrote an upward then. And now I'm gonna lose the ability to fly again. Oh, this is an instant area. Interesting. Actually, I think all of them will be instant now. Yeah, okay. All of them will be instant. Are instanced. Yeah, okay. As I'm sure you've noticed, the air grows thin at this elevation. Take it slow until your body adjusts. Deep breaths, drink plenty of water. A few more steps and we'll be in Water's Echo. Almost every mount can fly, yeah. I think there are a minor few exceptions, but they are very small. And you only can like fly in um, areas you have found all the ether currents in. <laughs> Hello, Power Keep. Okay. I think I'm getting used to the air up here. This is a place from the Lay of Proof, where Papa met with the Yokoi. It don't really look like giants to me, but okay. And that must be them. I don't think I've ever actually seen one outside of a picture. So it is from Australia, and it traded in Swerdy with the Lowlands. Here in the mountain's fastness, they attend to the solemn duty they are pledged to undertake in the pact with the Dawn Servant. To watch over the Tural Vidra Valigamanda and maintain his prison within their temple. Ah yes, Wukulama told us about the uh, Tural Vidra, creatures that slip for far longer than normal and awaken to strange powers. Indeed. And even among those anomalies, Valigamanda is unrivaled in the strength 
It has endured for centuries, bringing a catastrophe each time it emerges from its lair. As you learned in a lay of ice, it was Gulu Jacha who at last managed to imprison the beast, and it has lain dormant in the table ever since. It said the building still bears a gaping horror in the ceiling from when Valigamanda was looted inside by Gulu Jacha's final ploy. I would like to seek the strongest of all to our retry. I wonder what it was like to fight it. All I echo was uh, was where both the lay of proof and the lay of ice took place. Does this true just we will fa be facing two feats this time? That's a question we can ask the directors once we find him. Or maybe we should flush our Bago Judger first so I can beat my keystone out of him. Hmm, I didn't find the down so and electric should be our priority. I suppose we do still have four keystones to run, and no matter what we do, the contest will put us against him sooner or later. <laughs> Alright, let's see our D elector. What is me? Didn't you just be pay a visit to Cariosa de Croatius? Also, the temple is called. The mobile told me that High Illuminarian Godfather is to be found there. If we were to ask Gaman for, for information, then it seems a wise choice. I am that cat girl over there, yes. They said he had no fox girl, uh, like fox people race, so I went with the next thing that's closer to this cat. <laughs> I do wish they would like bring in some kind of like fox race, but yeah. What do you mean with magic? Uh, I mean I could, but. Eh. I don't really feel like it's necessary for Final Fantasy XIV, for me at least. And also would eat up just a lot of more resources on my PC. And I'm already like maxing out what my PC can handle by just playing and streaming this. <laughs> so yeah. I don't need anything else running that eats up even more resources. <laughs> and see if I can convince the guards to let us through. I'm Ukramad, third promise of Tuliola, and I seek your electors for the right of succession. May I speak with Gofolva? Gofolva? Also, there's also the thing with like uh, modding. It's. It's still not allowed in the terms of services for this game. And I mean, they allow stuff like... Or well, at least they don't particularly allow the ACT, but they do not say anything against this if, if you're sure it, but I still don't want to risk it too much. So yeah, the ACT is the most I would do. And I actually also just use it more as a way to cover up chat if I want to like read private messages because I don't want to um, show private messages on stream in game. <laughs> it's just really useful for that, to be honest. Dialogue is granted admittance to the claimants. You may enter. Ah, that's easier than I expected. Here we go then. Gods said, I, Varigamanda. Ah, 
It's frozen in ice, fitting for what has this been called, a layer of ice. Welcome. He looks more like a giant. He's at least a lot more bigger than the others. Hello, man, I already follow. He is not here at present. I'm a luminary Zumobu. This is the guy room, right, Commander? It is. The two are retired whose name has evoked terror since time immemorial. Yeah, they do look like weird amalgamation of a giant and a toad, really. You're true about that. Even my people were once conquered of all beneath the sun, rare as brittle at least before Valigamanda's tempestuous power. When the sky rune descended upon Okapasha eight decades ago, the casualties were staggering. Had Gulu Jurcha and his companions not intervened, we would have been slaughtered to the last. The Titanic battle with Valigamanda raged for ten days and ten nights. As their foe fought on tireless and relentless, our heroes were pushed beyond the limits of their endurance. Thus did the head of reason concoct a disparate, disparate plan. Gulo Jaja tricked the Sky Rune into losing control of its own ice magics, causing the unwitting Tura Vitral to encase itself in frozen evil. Huh. And it's been like this ever since. Nice work, Papa. But what happens if the ice ever melts? The same question looms large in our minds, for the magic sustaining this prison grows weaker and with each passing year. But the commander commands powers of fire and lightning and ice. Some believe that the violence of the recent storm has result, uh, was a result of those energies slipping free. Huh. The raged raging tempest from Valigamanda? Seeing future worries aside, you have come to attempt a feat of proof, yes? The illuminary chosen elect of the Dawn Seven has left me with instruction for all aspiring claimants. You have to scour forbidding mountain uh yeah forbidding mountains and finding the waiting goal follower, that is to be your challenge. Ah, so the search itself is defeat. You've already spoken with my brothers, I take it? I have. The expeditions are underway. Then we better pick up the pace. If it's just like going from point A to B, this should be easy. I but we we'll need a direction to search in first. Let's see what hints we can gather from the villagers. God's Valigamanda is enormous. I know Baba had friends with him, but it's incredible he could hold his own against that thing. Should its prison ever fail, though, we can expect the old guard to come running. It'll be up to us to save the day. Mm, I'm gonna take it out, right? As you just informed, the feat of proof requires us to seek the high luminary gold follower somewhere upon these mountains. However, if earlier feats are any indication, you must assume the challenge precludes the Yokui from answering our question in a straightforward manner. Just about to ask that you pay close attention while attempting to divine gold followers whereabouts. The giants may not give us a precise location, there may be clues hidden within their words, such as my theory anyway. Let's see what we can discover. Oh, 
All right. The High Luminary? No, I've not seen it today. Now let me ask you a question. This is your brother who came out of the temple earlier. Was that really the fair promise? She seems to have a unimposing. How is she meant to succeed the mighty Golo Jaja? Hmm. Well, yeah, it's kind of expected that it will especially would look out for strength, considering that Golo Jaja was able to imprison that feed. I think I'm the High Illuminary as well, are you? I know the right where to find him, but I do hope we have the opportunity to speak together. He's a great man with a deep reverence for our traditions. This cliff we carved for one, he affords them as much value as any treasure we possess. The records of life's lift. Your arrival too, I will etch into the stone. That the story of our meeting may endure for untold turnings of the sun. If you're curious about our race, then I bid you visit Groove to the northwest of here. It is one of our great sites. If they record everything in these, shouldn't there be a lot more of those? Considering that they have lived for like a thousand years and done their stuff. Hmm. Oh, let's talk to the last guy. Vittorio Orlan. No, you're from further away than that, I think. As for the High Luminary, I can only guess where he might be. He is a ward of the Sky Room, but also keeper of the Sepulchres. Uh, and his duties often take him outside the village. Hmm. Get someone from there. Are they having a lot of walls in my race? First, was anyone able to coax for, for the definitive location for the High Luminary? Not really as it looks like. As expected. But then, of clues or other hints that might point us in the right direction. Early in addition to his usual duties, Goldfuller is also charged with keeping the craves. As a time, the quiz. Sepulchres appear to hold a special significance in their culture. Um, but would it be appropriate for us outsiders to enter into their burial crowns? Proof, you say, and encourage you to visit the place yourself. Yeah, let us go and take a look. Even if you don't find good for there, it will give us the chance to learn more about the Yokui. The grave side is somewhere northwest of here. Well, we can leave uh, from that side of the village for a start, shall we? Alright! Um, wait, is it right over here or are we just talking here again before we go out? Yeah, we're just talking with someone again. The others have gone on ahead to prove, following the trail west. There are sharp drops everywhere, so we are all moving at our own pace. Some of us are not built for uh, craggy terrain. I thought I'd get my bearing so I'm up here first, so I don't stumble off a cliff. Why don't you try to catching up to Ronald? 
he should be able to point you in the right direction. Okay. We follow this down in a bit though. And we're gonna do a short try break, so be right back. And be back. I'm also just like noticing when I walk out of my room how much my room already heated up again from all of this. <sighs> my pee is blowing out way too much heat. <laughs> Okay. It's not the best as it was at some other days, so it's bearable. Uh, mm -hmm. So, it's a bit to the north. I can just jump down here. I mean, as I can, so. Hey! Yeah, I'll just do an off rest. All right. <clears throat> I'll just stay on top of you for more. Not it's like right at the edge of the cliff here. Yep. <laughs> As I expected. Where's the next one? Further up the north. Alright. Mm, I'm probably somewhere around here. Probably by this rune, I'm guessing. Yep, just right behind it. Oh yeah. Rune jumps to the rest, that's fine. I'm fighting enemies too rarely to enjoy, have this part of him playing quite a lot because we really enjoy it. <laughs> so I'm going to this piece. Please, thank you. And there's our uh, nice. Right by this... What the hell happened here? Take a look at this crater. There's no wood, no trees, not even dried grass, and yet the ground still burns. This must be one of the scars left by Valigamanda's rampage, as told by the saga. So you're telling me this is still burning after 80 years? What the fuck? The Skyrim fires are described as eternal flames that can be quenched by neither storm nor time. Yet here for a little embellishment. <sighs> but now I've lost sight of Vuglamat. Proof is northwest along the main road, so hopefully she's still heading the right way. Well, we do hope the same. Hmm. Thank you for the follow, Festus. Very much appreciated. Okay. 
Did we find Eva Kern along the way? Uh... Okay, this sounds more like an ad to be honest, but hey. Welcome chat nonetheless. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing the current is somewhere right here. Ah, right there. Perfect. We don't want to fall too deep though. I thought we were going to do this, it goes. Oh, quite a bit actually. Woke up at Vince again. This is the guy we've been looking for. Looks like everyone's here now, so. Greetings, friends. Are you a goof, Lou? No, I'm not. The Illumina did, however, task me with providing a lesson on sepulchres to those who came in search of him. Hey there, Sarah. Welcome to the chat. Also, we are meant to find our way here after. Are you to tell us who is buried here? No one is buried here in the sense you mean. When your body has served its purpose, we design it to the flames, then scatter its ashes across the peaks. Wigan's going fine. Moreover, we do not conceive of death as others do. For us, a person does not die when their hearts cease to beat, but only when they are no longer born in the hearts of well who know them. This is why we build our supporters before age of mishap claims us that we might edge ourselves into the living chronicles of our all eternity. Interesting way of looking at death. This grave belongs to a good friend. His mortal's vessels ended up uh, ended its journey some years ago, but he lives within me, even now. I've just changed my own support here. As long as it is, so too will I. I will endure in the hearts of those who read my grave bliss in the same manner my friends does in mine. Has it always been thus for your people, this conception of existence and death? Continue along this path to the intelligible passage. Behold this tree upon its walls, and you may find the answers to your questions. This is my um, OC model I custom ordered. Like, had an artist troll and a regular rig. And that's what we will do. Your suggestions are fascinating and love to know more. I thank you for allowing me to share them. For in doing so, will I remain in your hearts also. This just feels like just like a chill track up around us so far. Yeah, I know about debuts and debut videos. So I never really did a proper debut myself, but I also do not really plan to, to, to be honest. Hmm. 
Is there another evil current maybe up here to the south? Or is there only one that is picking up to the west? Um, right to travel, evil currents. There should be two more, so let's check up here. Leave me alone, Flint. <laughs> ah, there actually is one to the southeast somewhere um, here. <laughs> Maybe I will eventually, but not as of now. Actually, get there. And definitely already wishing you good luck when you want to start swimming. Sure, I will look later for way up there because I feel like it may be story locked. Hello, a fellow we met at Proof suggested that we come here. Yes, the Illuminary commanded that I watch for your arrival. As the chronicles of our people, it has ever been my family's duty to pass on the teachings of the murals from generation to generation. Thank you for the follow, Sierra. Very much appreciated. <laughs> they really are magnificent, and together they tell the tale of a people's history. They are the events which shaped us. I will chat them with you ere uh, you continue on your way. Please. We will love to hear all about it. Then I will begin. The first mirror depicts the time more than 1100 years ago, an age of great prosperity for the Yui. Uh, I'm not really sharing my Discord as of yet. I'm uh, trying to keep it private for as long as I'm still smaller. Best of size and swing from edge by other peoples, our ancestors much forth and brought much of Yogtural under their dominion. Then, when all before them had been conquered, they turned their gaze northwards, seeking to expand their territory and power. Here we see the expedition of Zactuel, unable to cross the strait by ship, our forefathers set to build set to building a bridge to the northern lands. A grand labor which consumed the greater part of a century. So got a boundless. We still may uh, we still make use of that bridge in Toliola for travel. I can't imagine the patience and dedication it took to complete the work for that scale. But I've never heard of any Okui or living as Actorel. What happened to the ones who went north? Look upon this next mirror and behold the answer. The scene suggests that many giants perished all at once. What manner of enemy could have repelled their invasion? A foe unmatched and unseen, when the expedition pushed forth into Sukturam those thousands years ago, its soldiers were felled by the seas. Some terrible illness? No. The river and plague or newly arisen plight, for the local Tonavafta and Chetona, 
It was but a mild affliction of the sort that comes with the turning of the seasons. What manifested for them a slight fever and coughs, however, proved gladly to our people. Out of every ten Yokui who joined the northern campaign, nine succumbed to the infection. Those who survived continued to suffer, finding it difficult to sell their offsprings. I've heard of this before. Lacking an inherent resistance, visitors to distant lands can fall deadly ill to diseases a local might shrug off. These events might also give rise to the practice of cremation rather than burial of mortal remains. This final mirror depicts the return of our grieving brethrens to Kupasha. The reason they first left, why they had fought so long and pushed so far, was to ensure peace for our homeland. This undertaking began in ancient times when our forebears learned they shared the continent with people unlike to us in appearance or custom. The feared invasion was inevitable. Ah. Did I meet you right of fate? They decided to strike the first blow. There's the fall on and on, the whole idea of peace drifted further and further away. Only after the disaster and sucked to run and they withdraw to their mountains did they come to understand. As I said, I do not share my discord and with adding you I would share my discord to you anyway. But why don't we check it down? You can add me on other platforms if you so like. Uh, uh, uh. I'm just quickly. <laughs> yeah, on Twitter or. I forgot what I command for that was, that's why I uh, look for the link myself. Other social media I have linked there. Mm. Only after disaster in Sektura and the withdrawal to the mountains did it come to understand. The peace we envisioned had been ours for the taking all along. It was here, in the place which birthed us, here in the stones upon which we recorded our days, here in the strangled life we had traded for conquest and conflict. And do nothing but find it can blind you to what's right before your eyes. And so we return to the present. I trust you found this brief history of our people enlightening. I'm always glad to learn more about my uh, always glad to learn about my fellow to reality, how you've lived until now and how you wish to live from now on. I will do after this dream. Then I believe you're ready to proceed. The high luminary bits will meet him upon the summit of Walker Summer. I feel we end up scaling the big old mountain. Well, it's a feat worthy of the name. Follow the trail south of here to begin your ascent, but be wary, beyond the entryway, the mountainside is home to ferocious bees, both mundane and otherwise. We keep that in mind. Thank you for warning and the lesson. Finally, we know where we are going, to the top of Wokoro Samoa, which is not unexpected to be honest. 
to like to go to the top of the mountain. Wait, it's not this way though. So I wanna get the evil current which is over here. Also, why did why did the bot post the Twitter link so quickly one after another? Should not do this, but hey. Well, up the mountain we go. I can close this because I already have an idea that if it couldn't be, um, I'd be located. Just reading past him right from behind. <laughs> So who's waiting here? Oh. Let's say we're gonna map. This Finn Mountain here is going to be the death of me. Uh, how long have we been standing there? What's just taking the scenery is so? all? Come on. We don't want to fall too far behind Alfino and the others. Alright. Oh. Probably gonna be attacked by the friend again. Well, not this time they just ignore me. Nice. It still looks like a mountain of ice, but is it really? You remember how the chronic girl was saying that the more they fought, the further away they moved from the idea place? It occurs to me that the soldier is attempting to f um, the feat of proof, then he will have heard that same lesson. <clears throat> I can only hope that this made him reconsider his own stance on educating people for war. We do hope that. But I kind of doubt it. I mean, so draws a bit too stubborn in his ideas and values for that. God, that is one tall mountain. And we're supposed to climb it? I'm guessing this will be a dungeon. Do not expect to walk here unchallenged. Tell me, stunned once. Did those short legs bring you all the way from Toriola? He speaks in the old Yokhui tongue. The words are difficult to catch. Uh huh. 
Though your words are crude and cumbersome, I use them for your benefit. For the Dawn Trace story part, yes. You are a claimant in this right of succession. That's right. Then, if you die, Tuliola loses a potential ruler. That's a dark thing to say, friend. I get the feeling you don't share the opinions of the other Yokui we've met. We do not grovel before Gulul, Jar Jar, like those shameless lapdogs. Hmm. So there's even still some war among us were among the Yokui. Conquerors, and we will restore our people to their rightful place as Turas overlords. Huh. The giants have their own factions too, it seems. You think your kin weak for showing deference to my father, but they do not follow the man. It is his peace they respect, a peace they always wanted, which they realize could be had right here. Justifications of the craven. They turn a case from our ancestors. From the dream we kept alive for a thousand years and more. They are unworthy of bearing our legacy. I will reclaim the glory. He's being way too slow. And our ascension begins with the death of the third promise. Yeah, no. We don't let you go. Stop! I don't want to fight you. Men die on your knees. Okay. Opportunistic vermin seek to fist on us to you. Why is the monster fighting for us? Down here. Your neck will be the first I snap this day. Actually getting to the city picked up as an action. I didn't put much thought into it. My legs were moving before I knew what was happening. I suppose 
I feared you died before we had the chance to get to know each other. Before I could learn more about you. To what end? Oh, that's simple. If we're to share the land, it's the best way for us to become friends. How is he? Looking with them found it, yeah? He'll live. Not quite ready to walk under his own strength, however. If you could stay and tend to him, the rest of us will continue on to walk or Zormo. Understood. Be careful up there. This changes nothing. We will not forsake our conquest. <laughs> As you like. You want to kill me, you're welcome to try. But right now, you might want to worry about your comrade. She's right about it. On a mountain of that size, there are bound to be creatures even I've never heard of. I'll trust you to lead the way. Yeah, okay, this really looks like this will be a dungeon. Then we climb. The furlough is waiting. Okay, dungeon time it is. Ooh, this looks cool. It's just that uh, the others doing a little damage for a while, uh, having so much health.
I mean, DPS doesn't look that bad, actually. Okay, and let you see it if you want to. Come on. What did I say? I feel like it seemed to tank a lot. Okay. Ah, dead again. This one over the city. Oh, okay, I messed it up. I think they should be able to do this. He's taking a lot of damage, Jesus. Okay. Get 
The only difficulty definitely is step up from the last one. At least when it comes to endurance of the enemies. And damage output. The tank using one. Yeah, okay, he's using damage mitigation. Why is he taking so much damage? Huh. They're just hitting that hard. It's quite interesting. Come on, people. Uh, someone got confused.
gone. A lot of AOEs. Really a lot of AOEs. I think DBS is a bit low if you look at it. Kind of actually hard to keep the tank alive from pulling all this, uh, a lot of these heads. I also feel like my heal should be a bit better for this part, but well, I'm just using the story gear I get, so yeah. Oh, we actually get fighting against go for. Uh... I am Gorfolo, Elector of the Dawn Servant. Prepare to be tasty. Do those eyes on shit still. Take the 
measure of your resolve. I don't want to have to spawn him. <laughs> Spirit of my brethren, your thunder roars. Wait, that one shot me? The fuck? I didn't expect that to uh, one shot me. I said I would do so after the stream. Are we actually supposed to pick them up? That's why it one shot me. This was a lot less damage. That you should endure my fury. Drone 
Oh yeah, this one's wearing out a little better this time around. Sweet. And another uh, up along with it. Pretty good. Mm, wasn't too bad in the end. We decided one thing where we didn't pick up the ops for the mechanic. Bigger than the others in the village. Well, what would you would expect of a giant? All of your queen were once my equal in size, but ever since we were decimated by disease, it is rare to see a child reach our former stature. Ah. Oh. You speak of the contagion which afflicted the Shaktural expedition. The one recorded in your murals. It is a chapter of our history that is entangled with the legend of the Golden City. <coughs> I've heard that legend originated with the Yokui. Is this true? With the visions our ancestors had, to be precise. Preceding the campaign into Shaktural, many were visited by dreams of glittering splendor. Oh. They described a paradise that knew neither war nor famine, where people lived lives 
of eternal happiness. A single dreamer might have been dismissed, but when dozens, if not hundreds, spoke the same, the luminaries became convinced it was divine revelation. <gasps> then the expedition... Its purpose was to find the City of Gold. Yes, help was marshaled from all the territories under our control. Lands were scoured on a massive scale. Ah, little wonder the legend is so similar across Tural. Those involved with the search would have passed the stories down to their children. Another agreement, I see. I will test your worth, as I have tested those who came before you. Here and now, I think he means. And go for it. This should be able to end it. Sweet, the next key is Sornus Arrows as well. Three to go. How glorious it would have been to race thee and thine to the summit. Though mayhap not whilst being hounded by Baku Jaja and his minions. Again, that swine shows his disdain for the right. Strangely, despite his eagerness to antagonize us, he withdrew as soon as we fought back in earnest. I cannot fathom what he was trying to achieve. Just a distraction, I'm guessing. On a similar note, I'm also curious as to why you chose the peak of Warcore Zormor for the conclusion of this feat. The earlier stages saw us learn the history of the Yokui. Does this location also hold some special meaning for your people? Yes. It is a place of great significance. All these monuments. Is this a burial ground? Every high luminary before me is enshrined in this earth. Alongside them are the heroes who bravely stood their ground when Vali Garmanda brought ruin to Urko Pacha eight decades past. Hmm, that explains why there are so many. Sorolja. I should have known you'd arrive here first. <sighs> ah, third promise. How relieved I am to find you in good health. 
Shut up, you, you, you trapped you, yes, one. Sorry, I'll try you bastard. I should end you here and now. Remember where you are. You will mind your conduct, or you will leave. Whoop. <laughs> I see no reason to delay further. Show me my father's sepulchre. Papa has a grave? Interesting. So, if you share it in his traditions, not that unsurprising. Upon this monument are inscribed the names of those who sealed away the monstrous Valley Garbanda, your fathers included. Gulul Jaja, master of resolve and reason, champion of peace. Look at this one. Ketanram, navigator of uncharted oceans. Ketanram, the Lamintan explorer. Does this mean he joined Galul Jaja on his travels? I told you the name would come up again. Kafkiwa, seeker of the unknown. How strange to see your name here. I'm guessing that this is Mara's name. It was unheard of to build leaving sepulchers for those who were not Yokui. But their great deed demanded recognition. Master of resolve and reason, champion of peace. Papa really did some amazing things. He carved his path with martial skill. Yet it was clever thinking which allowed him to trap Valigarmanda within its own ice magics. Martial skill and clever thinking. Hmm. I can't compete with Zorolja's mastery of the Head of Resolve's techniques. And when it comes to knowledge, Kona's the one who most takes after the Head of Reason. Is there anything that I've gotten from Papa? Something I do better than the others? You, I would say you do the champion of peace part the, the, the best. Mm. Let's get around with the question. What else defines him? Oh, of course. Papa's love for peace, for his people. That is what he's given me. And I'm fighting to preserve the peaceful Tural he built. Yay. Well, I guess you can start with that thing. What in the hells was that? You must return to Warlar's Echo immediately. Valigarmanda has broken free. I presume that was about the unholy sound? Valigarmanda is free. We need to get back there. Now! I kind of expected it to happen, to be honest. <laughs> How fortuitous. 
We have been gifted an opportunity to outpace our rivals. Shouldn't he be like at the forefront of fighting that thing though? Alongside with the lance guard. <sighs> We've been taking care of this after a short break, so. Eh, I will be right back. And we're back once more. I was just looking for a controller, but I'm not playing FF14 with a controller. <laughs> I would be a madman to do so. I actually don't understand how people can play this with a controller. I never could. And I tried a few times. Of the temple, of course. Good to be back. There's much I would explain, but by the time I arrived to investigate a certain urge in Ephraim, there was already found giants everywhere. By now, everyone is preoccupied with treating the wounded. Break, catch your breath, and turn a lend a hand where you can. Hmm, give me a power die. If you're ready, there are many injured here who need aid. Should you find anyone passed out from the wounds, ask that you alert, them to, alert me to them. Otherwise, I should be attending to whatever requires the most urgent healing. We can gather here once we've seen to those people's hurts. Alright. I'm walking around this healer myself, though. Why can't I just heal them? You, the Fair Promises Protector. Everything was breathed in bright red. A seeing he developed my entire body. I couldn't move. Oh. There seemed to be like a, anything like destroyed or anything because of it though. Having burns, a touch of cloth is agony. Yet I will live. Believe me, there are others in Morda I need of help. Okay. I'm guessing it will be the last one when I get here. It's not being serious, but this trying is in my throat. As if all the moisture has left my body. I guess uh, they ended up being fried for a moment. I've done all I can for now. The injured you found were Wake and Riverton? That is fair. We have left the injured as comfortable as we could. Many um, were suffering from burns to greater or lesser degree. Did the fire sweep through the village? The details are unclear. Once 
I had here the giant's attack by a mountain bird. The group's leader, Warpolo, I believe they called him, bade me depart. It was then that I felt an intense wave of evil and were to return to find Wallace Echo in the state. I rushed over to the first giant I saw. Though delirious with pain, he repeated the same warning. Valigamanda had broken free. Thus did I contact you with all haste. Uh, we are going to need more information than that before we can deal with the situation. Hmm. Yes, we should speak with the Temple Guard and see what's become of the Sky Ruins Bissen. That ain't when I can see energy and wait so within. Alright. What happened? So it's true. The ice has failed. Sure more were. Tell them what you told me. A short while ago, a claimant paid us a visit. Bagul Jaja. And hello there, Echo. First time coming out in Dontre, actually. Enters this hollowed hall. Ah, a claimant. <laughs> and here we have the mighty Valigarmanda. A terrifying vitral. With every awakening, it has sealed its ruinous name into the memories of a new generation. <laughs> what a good little terror. You stayed napping right up until the day I needed you. Why is Pagujata doing this? Explain yourself. It is as they say. Kulul Jaja caused its magic to run rampant, trapping it in a frozen prison of its own creation. Clever. Clever. To unmake it, it would be quite tricky. Two spells must be cast at the exact same moment. A conflagration intense enough to melt the ice and awakening flame to rekindle the slumbering vitral soul. The only ones capable of such harmonious execution would be the heads of reason and resolve. And the blessed siblings, Bakul Jaja.
the fire of David. Utter madness. Why have you done this? For the throne, of course. You unleash calamity for your own gain? Have you any idea how many may die? Wreak havoc, Valigarmanda. Live up to your legend. Really, only can cause trouble. The only thing Bagu Judge is capable of. A messenger to Tuli Yolol has been dispatched. The Landsguard will send a contingent, I am sure. But there is no telling when they will arrive. That idiot! This monstrous act is a step too far, even for him. So, what's the plan? You're gonna catch ourselves, uh, Valiga Manda. If we to others, it will be a massacre. Some might call it the wiser choice, if I don't want to fall behind the competition. But I could never live with myself. And my supporters deserve a better ruler. So that's that. I will stay and fight Vali Yarmanda. This is an enemy so powerful that even my father failed to slay it. Alone, I don't stand a chance. I understand you've no obligation to aid me outside the right of succession. But for the sake of Urko Pacha and its people, I beg you, join me in this battle. Yeah, this is the kind of challenge we live for, really. <laughs> Drawn to the chaos. You're as bad as Papa. Don't worry. The Sky Ruin should prove a big enough challenge for all of us. Far be it from us to abandon a dear comrade in her time of need. Dear comrades, now, eh? <laughs> I have to say, it does have a comforting ring to it. Knowing someone has your back makes it easier to do what you have to do. What will we do? <laughs> One committed to winning the contest above all else would race on ahead. If you resolve to slay Vali Karmanta, we'll need to find out where the beast went. That's true. That's what we have you for, old friend. <laughs> Inform the Pelo Pelo of the danger. They may need to flee to lower ground. All right. 
Now we have to look for a giant bird who can bring ruin and catastrophe. Sweet. Zone room, any of these, and how we can trick Valigamanda. The tried and true method of comparing sightings with other signs of passage is the most reliable, but also the most time consuming. As a second option, not as reliable as the first, but if you're lucky, it will let us ascertain the Skyrim's whereabouts far more quickly. Though a true reader of extraordinary nature, Valigamanda is still a creature of this world. Yagumi, it is thus sustained by a corporeal energy and possesses a unique ethereal balance, which means this device should come in handy. <laughs> wow. A floating hand? That's not the time to be toying with toys. It's not a toy, it's an ephirous ether seeker. As the name suggests, Kalina uses it to detect the evil of living beings. And you have that in your pack this whole time? I can probably calibrate it to follow a specific ethereal aspect. The problem with Legamanda is that it can shift free between the elements of fire, ice and lightning. Well, we know that in order to ring Odigamanda from its ice imprisonment, Bago Jaja cast badge which quickened its fire aspect to the ether. And the residents here were uniformly afflicted by burns. Therefore, the logical conclusion is that upon breaking free, Odigamanda unleashed a great fiery blast. So the choice is plain fire. The Zeke, however, is not without its faults. As you're not able to import our Kurawi's unique etheric signature in a trance, the device will respond to any living source of fire aspected ether. So we have the reliable yet slow method of uh, giving information versus the potential swift but easily misled cleaner tool. I say why not pursue both methods at the same time? Good idea. We have the first to fall back on if the second fails. Return with me then, Tamo, in case the seagull leads me to some other fiery fiend. The rest of us can stay behind and talk to eyewitnesses. The more sky ruins writings we can compare, the more accurate our final information will be. If anyone has any objections, I shall remain here in the village and tend to the Yokui. If you are a serious injured, but I am wary of wounds inflicted by a creature like Waligamanda, I should like to close at I should like to be close at hand should their condition suddenly worsen. Right, it sounds like we have all work to do. I'm expecting the first try of fight act actually with that. We should be on our way as well. Uh, what, that? what kind of gear do you have laying around in inventory? Just checking if we get like any upgrades. Another better ring? Yeah, why not? We head to the outskirts of the village first, then set the seagull to detect fire aspected evil. Mm, no quest for evil currents? Okay.
Right, just think of where to go. Warlord's echo is still suffused with the sky runes with such evil, so it's excluded from the search area to prevent it from swamping the sensor. Let's begin tracking, shall we? Right, by the community, you can see will then begin leading you onward. Okay. And let's follow it. That's our first fire aspect of monster. Okay, aspect of evil located, targeting designated. Not quite a legendary creature we were after. Just a mere elemental. But am I dealing with the fire sprite? It will continue to confuse the seeker if you leave it be. Alright. Thank very much, I'm afraid. Let us try this again. I found it, dragging your source of fire aspect evil. I'm actually going up here. Okay, why not? I already can see our fire aspect of friend over there. Writing enough, but again, not what we are looking for. If you'll be so kind. Just carrying all random enemies is all kind of like, eh, bye. Nothing exciting. My things, I'd ask if I give you any trouble, but considering what I'm talking to. Sigur, so resume checking, and do try to point out something useful this time. Affirmative, resume tracking. It's going back. It's just going back to the path. Okay. Okay, the pit, uh, you can ignore that. Mm. 
Uh, another remnant of Holigamana's last rampage. The crater's flames record us to the seeker as corporeal evil. In other words, of the Tuliola saga, when Holigamana rages out of control, its fires burn forever. Its eyes does not fall, and its lighting crackles without cease. Thus was the dancer able to turn Skyrim's perpetual magic against itself, triggering it within an unmading pressing of ice. This is no mundane fire, but of some kind of everlasting sorcery. Once again, it is a strange feeling to see fanciful poetry proven true. The important thing is that the fire was classified as living evil, and can feed a sample into the seek and greatly improve its accuracy. One moment. Yeah, now the Seeker should ignore any Ephelic signature about Valigamandas. Anyways, it was possible from the start, then you needn't have four of these creatures at all. My apologies, it seems I still have much to learn from this journey, as a cleaner and as a guide. Yes, I'm a Seeker should be attracted solely to Valigamandas. Resume checking based on the latest sample. Okay, let's resume checking. Sample is the few signatures detected. Engaging accelerated pursuit mode. Ah, accelerated pursuit mode because they're just teleporting there. Fitting, I guess. Yep, there's nothing else of interest here besides guard land, so yeah. Hey, we're just gonna be jumping down again. Just seeing them spawn all at once like this. Well, no wonder he is attracted to that pit. Good to see was one directly to his current Sawyer. Now we know we've set the correct parameters to his superior aspect. I will try increasing the threshold for field concentration. That should direct us to the tour return itself. Which leads us way over there. Where we were earlier, actually. I'm just gonna try going back there again. This looks like it's actually possible from here. I may have just missed a path. Yeah, but it's actually just a straight shot there, okay. I just overlooked a big path earlier. Ah, this is where the, the hostile Yakui are living. Fitting. To southeast or somewhere over there. Ah. Found it.
Don't really care if it actually. Such a long trip. But it should be almost there, hopefully. I think we know this if uh, the Elegamander was inside his peshes. Let's head through to the other side. That was. Kind of unnecessary, but okay. I'm gonna go back on Torgo's back. here it seems could valikar manta have shifted its elemental aspect it does have three to choose from after all in any case i'm almost certain the withdrawal was headed in the direction of war core lator we should let the others know we have a likely location guess that's my job Alphano is assisting the Yokhoi with their evacuation. He thought they could use a healing hand with the injured. So where is Varigarmanda? Orkor Lardor. Its stratified layers contain a wealth of crystals, said to be the source of its many colored glow. Oh. After 80 years of imprisonment, the Vedral will be in dire need of sustenance. It would have been drawn to the mountain's energies. So Valley Garmanda seeks to replenish its ether. Then we better not give it the chance. Stop! That mountain is sacred ground. I forbid you to set foot on it. Sorry, we... It is not our intention to trespass. But you must understand, that's where Valley Armanda has gone. If we don't slay it now, it will slaughter countless innocents. Just like in the old days, I beg you, permit us to enter. Out of the question. Oh, come on. Your band is incapable of defeating Valikarmanda. Either you seek to defile Warcore Lara Dor, or you are fools. If you doubt their chances, how would you feel were we to join them?
The monument to Valley Garmanda's defeat bears the names of seven heroes. With our forces combined, we also number seven. Seven weaklings are no less doomed than four. Sorocha, you've come to help as well. Against my sound advice. While the rest of you were tussling with this sky ruin, we might have secured an insurmountable lead. A minor delay. It will not change the contest's outcome. I will take the measure of this Tural withdrawal my father was unable to kill. Both my brothers here. This battle is all but won. Your celebration is premature. I never said I would let you pass. Brother, no! We do not bear arms against our own people! What an odd thing to say. As I recall, the inhabitants of Chirwagur Sultan do not consider themselves members of the Tuliyolal nation. I'd hardly call them our own people. What does that matter? Members or not, everyone in Tural is part of our dream for peace. If you would hurt them, then you'll have to go through me. She... Hmm. she saved me... from the mountain bird. Now... then... The same eyes. Eyes of stone. Words of stone. We are still in her debt. This is true. <laughs> Consider the debt repaid. But do not misunderstand. We do not submit to Tuliolan rule. Aye, you've made your point. We can talk more once the contest is over. I ask you. Wuklamat, protector of peace and soon to be done servant. Hmm. She's made a sense lot and clear, I would say. Even people with wildly different ideals can find understanding through earnest discussion. I believe that wholeheartedly. As do I. I won't give up until we reach a compromise. Uh, assuming you survive, my old bones and I will be waiting here for the true heir's return. Your thoughts have always been a mystery to me, brother. But I'm relieved to see you put aside the contest for the sake of the greater good. Our nation is a fortress, and its people the bricks with which it is built. The more that are lost or broken, the weaker Tuli Yolal becomes. Even the crudest rock has value as a stepping stone. Well, not really. Come on, you two. Forget about the right of succession for now, and help me fight this overgrown snake bird. I'm not really invoking empathy when he is calling other people just stepping stones, to be honest. Hmm. 
I don't care how strong the sky ruin may be. We're going to put this menace down for good. Of course we will. And so we've exactly been made a, a party of eight people. I'm guessing this would actually be a trial. Yep. But we of course gonna do it with other players. Oh wait. Uh Okay, good. I almost went for the dungeon again and did not want that. Okay, so magnetism is a thing.
Oh lol. There's so many fucking avalanches. gonna do Wow, he's just spamming this really hard. So I think it's quite cool so far. Going to do Thunder Phrase again? Alright. Maybe this is safe enough. Yes, it is. <laughs> Just barely.
And you should be down. Sweet. It actually defeated it. Very nice. Oh, okay, I don't know what I miss. Or everyone already left. We did it. We slew Valley Yermanda. A feat that even the great Gulul Shacha couldn't manage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For you, Papa. There's no denying it was an impressive achievement, but I wouldn't be so quick to claim we've outdone father. The Fidral was weakened by decades of imprisonment. Had we faced it in its prime, we wouldn't have fared a fraction as well. Ah, come on, Koana. We beat them after all, though. How can you say that? 80 years couldn't have made that much of a difference. Could it? Oh, who am I kidding? Papa's still the best. <laughs> still for Redo. So be happy with that. I did, didn't I? <laughs> Even if it wasn't at full strength, we defeated a living legend. I swear. I'll surpass the old man one day. The Sky Ruin lies dead. And still, I've yet to prove myself the miracle. <laughs> hmm. Well, I suppose we should head back and join Erinville. I we did leave him with only Sarelja for company. Which was a bad idea. But hey, that happens. The proud expression we speak a successful hunt. None of them surprised in the least. Sasha came back earlier, but left almost immediately with Zara giant toe. He seemed dis disinclined to share in any victory celebrations. That's nothing unusual for Zorajar. No it's Paco Judger that concerns me. He's probably far ahead now, making the most of the mayhem he caused. But they can't believe he did something so evil just to slow us down. If he hadn't slain Maligamanda, it wasn't only Ugo Pasha disk, there would have been deaths across the entire internet continent. I'm more certain than ever that Bago Jaja cannot allow to be rule. Cannot be allowed to rule. You have to catch him and take back my keystone. That we definitely have to do. Your queen must still be anxious, wondering where and when Valigamanda will strike next. I should just be her back and ally their fears. I know as well, I should think. Yes, you're right. We shouldn't let them worry in another moment. Alright. Our locks echo. 
Back we go. Before doing anything else, we should talk to Gufalo. To the temple, then. That won't be necessary, heroes of the hour. Valigarmanda is no more. Yours is a victory worthy of song. We had plans for a second feat to be conducted here in town. But the recklessness of your fellow claimant has rendered them pointless. A second feat? The feat of ice. You are to fortify Valigarmanda's prison. Hmm. How shall we proceed, High Luminary? What more would we test, Zulmurwer? They have defeated the Sky Ruin and saved the gods know how many lives. If they are not worthy heirs to Kulu Jaja, then no one is. So indirectly accomplish the next feat as well. Now that our last claimant has arrived, we can proceed with the formalities. For the skill and bravery the three of you have shown, I award you each a second keystone. And with that, we have our fifth. Well, minus one because Bagul Judge, uh, Bagul Judge is the one, the one stall. That makes five. Only two left to collect. And except that one of those five is in Bagul Judge's thieving hands, he will answer for that, and for losing Vali Armanda. You have brought lasting tranquility to our home and earned the gratitude of every Yokui. May glory and prosperity continue to bless Tuliolol as we enter this new age. We'll come around eventually. Was never much of a talker, our brother. If you're up for it, you should visit the capital. I'd like everyone to get to know you and your people better. Ha. I'll consider it if it's one of you two who claims the throne. Then you need only await a missive from Sunperch. I'll be sending out invitations. <laughs> He's confident at least. Today is a day for unusual visitors. You walk your mat. Was it not? I doubt that you could slay Valigar Manda, but the quiet skies proclaim your triumph. Had the Bidral been suffered to roam free, it would 
would have terrorized us all. Once again, we find ourselves in your debt. You owe us nothing. We fought because we wanted to. Yet a debt has been incurred all the same. It will haunt me if I do not repay it. Hmm. I wouldn't even know what to ask for. Perhaps he can tell us about the dreams of the Golden City. <gasps> oh, good idea! That was on my list of questions I wanted to ask. The Golden Dreams. Yes. We have records of our forebears and their visions from the time before the Shakhtural expedition. What did your forebears see? A heavenly land, suffused with a golden glow. Its people lived as gods, never aging, never dying, free from a hardship and conflict. Actually, it sounds like um, the days, uh, like, were the Asians. Where, like, the world, like, Earth wasn't, like, split before the fun, before the sundering. I think it's actually just, like, not a callback to that. Every building was. And in their midst reign a silent goddess, a statue so tall, even my kin would need lift their gaze to behold its visage. A statue of a goddess. That's new. I, and compared to the abstract imagery we've previously heard, this was a detailed description. The dreamers were consumed by their visions, compelled to seek out the paradise they'd been shown. They journeyed to Shakhtural, where they died in droves. Those who go in search of the Golden City do not return. The tales Brook Evu shared may have been rooted in historical fact. Perhaps who can know the truth of it? Once our ancestors left the forest, there were no more dreams, nor dreamers. The forest? What do you mean? From the very first, the visions were set to visit only those who worked the quarries in Yaktel. But after they were ravaged by disease and saw fewer newborns, they were forced to abandon that territory. Once, our people's withdrawal to Urko Pacha was complete. We never again dreamed of the Golden City. Hmm. So only Yokhui in that one specific area experienced the visions. Fascinating. Well, we're headed to Yaktel next. Maybe we'll find out more when we get there. Thank you for sharing your stories with us. I do not require gratitude. I merely repaid a debt. Tridude. Farewell, Wook La 
Tiamat. I do not think our paths will cross again. Oh, and I doubt that. <laughs> I doubt that really well, hard. I'm expecting we will be seeing him again. Sooner or later. I don't think Wapolo and his brethren will have a sudden change of heart about Tuliola, but it doesn't mean they will never change at all. Today is proof of that. I think it's time to return to Tuliola. After scaling towards Talus Mountain and battling a legendary beast to the death, even though this heroes like you could probably use a rest. In any case, the preparations will be made before we can visit the next destination laid out in the saga. The rest bit would be most welcome. I believe I hear the forward cabins calling our names. Bye bye. And we will be doing the last two if current quests here. After that, we should actually be able to damn fly in this area, which would be nice. so warm again. I'm starting to sweat quite a bit now. <laughs> Just from sitting in a chair. Which is... Uh... I don't actually be streaming for much longer. We'll be finishing up um, to see getting the for currents. Unlock the map fully, head back to Tolly Oriel, and I think I will also end it there for the day because we already progressed quite a bit today, to be honest. And I mean, we did stream a six and a half hours. We did do that a lot. One more side quest to go. Hey, so on. Hey, Chuli die. Hello there, Chuli die. Okay, this one is about defeating an enemy. All right. I'm guessing there's aren't going on over there.
Oh no, there's actually just a fade, not aren't. Okay. Which has tricky to take part in it, I guess. Just a zero ink, sadly, because I went it too late, but okay, that's fine. Uh, let's teleport, just because it's faster. Two spots in a map and not uncovered. So let's check our release. Uh. This is just behind the town, I just never bothered to check, I guess. Yep. Also getting another bird's eye view out of from this area. Which looks actually quite nice. The other part just looks a bit more desolate, but that's also because mountains. I think quite a lot more uh, back there, which we actually never get to, like, we actually walk to. And there's just an island I can not just get to while uh, flying with some of the stuff. I guess it's. This area can just access by flying here. Yep. Hmm. Okay. I return to Toriola and I actually will say yes, we, we are gonna start the stream here for today. So let's check what person who we can raid. Why am I not logged in? Come on. No one's actually. Wow, really, this is really no one is online. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Uh, what looks interesting.
I love Chevin. He's actually he's trading for an FNC forward taking. So I don't think he's picking one in like the lower few accounts. Ah, uh, come on. Well, this is how I find anything to do. You know. English being in the low accounts, which is also like we just on that, then we just not gonna write anyone, I guess. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed it. We did quite a lot of story this time around, and please excuse the technical hiccup I had at the start with being muted. <laughs> Don't cough. It really was just due to um, software update with my sound setup, killing all my sound settings. Yay! But I... Other than that, I really hope you enjoyed it. And leave some feedback, leave some support. I really appreciate that if you would do that. And yeah, we will be seeing each other next time, hopefully. Until then, bye-bye.